I have so we, to click I got it. Oh, I guess I guess I do. I'm kidding. We're getting ready to start. Honey. So we have to be polite now. Okay. You're being recorded. Here comes Kyle. I'm Canadian. I'm never polite. <laughs> well, your your definition of impolite is different than ours. So uh -huh. Rob, I don't think Rob's going to make it tonight, but boy, wasn't that nice of him to handle it while I was gone. I really appreciate all the work you guys all did while I was gone. It was just, I couldn't have hosted this. I know it means a lot to everybody and myself that we continue our, our trivia. We certainly don't want to miss a Thursday. <laughs> that would be something, something was wrong. The, our shift in the, in the world would, something would be wrong. Hi, Kyle. I think next, next Thursday is going to be my last one for a while. Incarcerated? <laughs> Incarcerated <laughs> in Germany. Uh, I tell you, Avi, you should have thought of that before you decided to move. Come at two in the morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Need oh, to sleep. Uh, you're, wow. moving, you're moving to Germany? For one year. Oh, where? Mannheim. Oh, Mannheim. My, my son Why? lives in German. Oh, cool. He lives in Braunschweig. Where is that? Um, it's near Wolfsburg, which is um, DW. See, it's north, northwest. Yeah, but he works for Volkswagen. He works, um, it's near Berlin, northwest of Berlin. Braunschweig. That's very far from me. That is, uh, is a Braunschweig or train ride to get to yeah. Berlin from Mannheim. Oh, it's, it's a long way. Yeah. We're hoping to uh, to go visit there in uh, this time next year, and uh, I want to spend some time in Berlin for sure. It's fantastic. Yeah, we've been to Berlin. My company, when I was traveling, they would pay me when I was traveling in Europe to visit my son every year. So uh, <laughs> we fly to Berlin, stay about three or four days, then continue. Berlin, God, the museums are extraordinary. The um, the atmosphere, the food, it's fa it's Berlin's really fantastic. The thing is, I was there. I was there when it was divided, and I was in the east. So, How long ago? What's that? Yeah, that's uh, been a while. Yeah, too. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so we. Uh, so I, I and I remember always walking down the Unter den Linden, thinking yes. that road. If they ever, if they ever reunified, uh, first place they would fix up would be down there. And it's, yeah. awful, I mean, it's so weird for me to look. You know, uh, the Brandenburg Gates were, it was a no man land when I was there. Right. And, it, you know, going through Checkpoint Charlie and stuff. But to see, to see uh, now people just riding their bikes through the, uh, the, the archway or whatever, it's so weird. Exactly. Yeah, I was, I was in Berlin the same way, way before the reunification and then a few times after. Um, it's amazing how it changed. And East Berlin is much more beautiful and attractive than West Berlin now. Um, the that Dame Linden is is gorgeous. It's really yeah, nice. I I just figured it would be. You know, it was, uh, and and that's where the Pergamon Museum's on uh, the Winter Dame Linden, I think. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's really fantastic. It's really fantastic. That's my favorite museum. It's gorgeous. Avi, Avi, I've never heard a good reason why you're going to Berlin. What is it you're doing there? Uh, not to Berlin, to Mannheim. It's because um, uh, I'm uh. I was offered a postdoc position for one year, and when with with postdocs, um, you take what you can get. Um, so basically, this was a collaborator of mine, and he um, said, "Hey, Avi, um, I have some money. Would you like to come to Germany?" And I was like, "Well, I'm going to be going on the job market soon, so if I accept this offer, I don't actually have to go into the job market for um, um, another year. For another year, and that's what happened." So, Excellent. So you were actually going to be working as a professor then, right? Essentially, yes. Teaching one year? So uh, I'm not, probably not going to be doing much teaching. So postdoc, what have you got your doctorate in? Mathematics. I, Jurassic World is, has a new movie coming out. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Mark just asked me, what's on the can of uh, Dr. Pepper? It's a velociraptor or something. He's like, what is mm -hmm. this? I said, I oh, guess okay. Jurassic Park has got a new movie coming out. Avi, if you have a, a PhD in mathematics, how big of a number can you add? <laughs> <laughs> I think on day one, you go to your supervisor and say, uh, it was my understanding there would be no math. 
Well, we, uh, Abby, do you speak German? That... Nope. No? Nope. Uh, my uh, my uh, math is universal. Yeah, exactly. Well, we we <laughs> learned uh, we we learned uh, uh, with Avi uh, at the uh, going to uh, the restaurant when we'd ask him to add up the uh, the bill. And oh. it was always, I don't do arithmetic. Arithmetic is not <laughs> mathematics. I haven't seen a number in ten years. <laughs> okay. Mannheim should be fun. Good beer and very good schnitzel. Uh, where is that located? Let me look it up on a map so I can see. I've been to Germany. Uh, Mannheim, M-A-N-N-H-E-I-M. Possibly. Okay. For the the steam steam yeah, look for the steamroller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the new Star Trek. Uh, the show. musical steamroller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, my wife went to school just down the road from there in uh, Heidelberg. Oh. oh. Actually, Heidelberg she, went, is gorgeous. she went to Heidelberg, Ohio, and then went oh, to, Heidelberg, to Heidelberg. That's yeah. got the castle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's oh, lots of castles. So but incredible. Heidelberg is yeah, amazing. But it's the only one that's got a Heidelberg castle. So yeah. okay, Heidelberg is where they have the uh, the pharmacy museum. So we got a tour of it by um, Natalie Grams, who hmm. is the ex homeopath over there, who's like amazing. Oh, so you can meet her, Avi. That would be cool. You should you should you should um, make a list of people that I need to meet when I'm in Germany or in Europe. Actually, I can. There's a whole there's a whole skeptic group over there. Yeah, it's um I'm a fellow from mm -hmm. GWU Bay. It's a whole organization. They're wonderful people, and you're going to mm -hmm. be there really soon. This is not Natalie Grams. She's an incredible person. She was a doctor, a medical doctor. She she is, but she also taught. She believed in homeopathy and she's written a really great tell all book on um, she started looking at the apologetics and she did a lot of research and she as she was doing her research to figure out how to fight back against the critics of homeopathy she realized this isn't real and oh her story is amazing but she's a wonderful person she took us to uh, we went to Heidelberg uh, Andras from the ESP podcast and myself and Mark Edward they took me on a tour of all over and we, we went to Heidelberg. I gave a talk there, incredible little town. And we went to Frankfurt. Um, I think we spent the night in Dresden, <laughs> but we didn't do anything there except have breakfast there and spend the night. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a great time. Heidelberg, you're so close to it. It's incredible yep. that place. Just get yourself, make sure you have a good camera. Oh my gosh, everywhere you look, it's beautiful. And we had lots of pictures to show you if you really want to see it, because we've been there with three times. We went there for our honeymoon. Oh, is that right? It's beautiful. Well, we actually went to London, hopped in the car, and drove from London to Heidelberg to spend three days because my wife hadn't been back there since college. And uh, that was a lot of fun because here it was we were in a stick shift car in England where everything's on the wrong side drove that immediately after getting on the plane to Heidelberg. <laughs> now we're on the right side of the road, but in the wrong side of the car. Um, oh, that's and, 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 you know, it's fun driving like a Ford Escort on the, uh, the Audubon. Audubon. Yeah. What is, what is your that's wife? That's an interesting use of the word fun. Yeah. <laughs> what does your wife do? What was her degree in? Uh, well, it's mainly in uh, German, uh, German and math. German and math. Yeah. mathematical german german yeah. mathematics yeah Re regarding that uh, phrase interesting use of the word fun hi jerry uh, uh i a while ago i listened to this uh podcast uh where the guy talked about his time in the yukon and how uh there's sort of fun which is just sort of three levels of fun and then the third one was was Gee, that was awful at the time, but I'm really glad I did it. <laughs> yeah. There's Terry. There's the Terry. best part. Some some things. Hey. The best part of them is that they end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm dropping in to say hi, you guys. But my daughter is about to walk through the front door, coming oh, home from college for the summer, and I'm wow. going to be goofing off with her and her boyfriend in the backyard and in the kitchen. And I will 
kind of pay attention to things and um, I have the bonus round tonight. So I've got my questions ready. And, uh, <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you? I feel fine. Are you I, over I it? Fine. I, you got I COVID? Went, I went, I had COVID. I went swimming mm -hmm. last night, got back in the swimming pool. Um, I, it felt like a mild cold. I, wow. You can still hear it in my voice a little bit. Yeah. 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 Before I knew I had it, I was talking to my daughter on the phone and she said, Mom, I, you definitely have it. I can hear it in your voice. Wow. wow. How do you know the difference between that and like just a normal cold? I mean, sound wise yeah. or whatever. That's what tests are for. Well, yeah. it's just that it, I've got something, you know. Oh, yeah. It could, well, it could have been a cold, but I happened to test positive for COVID. So I know that it wasn't just a cold. Yeah. Robin, did you take did you take any antivirals when you came down with COVID? No, but my husband did. Well, he has reason to, yeah. Yeah, he because, took Plexavid. Um, Plex oh, uh -huh. and he, it, it, it was a miracle drug. It, <laughs> it, like 10 minutes after he took it, it was gone. Because really? here yeah. they, they have antivirals, but they say that sometimes it can cause um, liver and kidney damage. Oh. So we're, oh. we don't have COVID, but we were just yeah. preparing just in case. Yeah. But we're a little, little timid to, to take those. What yeah. antivirals do they have, Jamie? The most common one is called, Flav it starts with an F. Flavonase or something or? No, no Flavonier. It's related to the, oh, I can't even pronounce them. Um, I, it's, it's, I don't think it's in the US. It was, but I think it, they stopped it. Flavonier, something like that. I can get Molnupiravir for free if you want it. Is that something? It's, it's I don't actually, know. That uh, that, it's, that's the Merck it's, product. It's, it's, Hi, right. is, is it homeopathic? Blue. No, <laughs> no, it, no, it works. Well, Hi, Ben. About 35% effective. This is the so weird cool. thing yeah. about mine. The weird thing <laughs> about mine was that my husband tested positive right away. And it took me another week to test positive, even though I knew I had it. I could feel it. But you know, that's happened a lot here. People yeah, are going between not, eight and ten days before they yeah. show yeah. symptoms. Yeah. You're willing it to happen. Yeah. Hey, uh, Romero, could you put Faith on your thing in my jigger, your screen? So I can, unless she's going on a different one. I mean, one, two, three, four, and the name. five. Yeah, because I'm counting one, two, three, four people. I'm going to be leaving early. Now you need to reverse them. You yeah. are? Yeah. I have to be at work at 8.30, like in the building, so. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so if you leave. Back to the office. What does it mean to go into the office? <laughs> I have to train somebody, so it's only temporary for like the next month. Uh, my wife had the same thing. She had to go in for three days to the other end of New Jersey to do training. It's the only time she's been in the office. Mm. Interesting. So Mark will be joining. There's a couple other people. Deborah should be here any moment. Um, <laughs> okay. Adrian gonna, lost her voice. The I shower, don't be there. So I'm going to mute myself. Okay. Yeah, please. We don't okay. you take us in with the shower. But I want to catch you here. <laughs> Did okay. Adrian get COVID? No, mm -mm. but she just lost her voice. So um, I was yelling at Susan too much. Oh my gosh, we talked like all the time. Oh man, yeah, boy, if it was all the voice. giggling. <laughs> I don't know if we did a lot of giggling, we did a lot of talking. Boy, she caught up for somebody who's not really been part of the community, like in the inside, you know, in the history of it. She was like, Whoa, <laughs> getting with me. I'm like, Okay, so here's the backstory to this story. Oh, here's the backstory to that story. She's like, oh my gosh. A little bit of fire hose there. Yeah, I tried to dwindle it out in bits as we met people and stuff. So it was kind of fun to be able to do it that way. Okay, so I think we're ready to start. We have a couple of people who will be arriving. That's fine. We'll add them in when we get a chance. But it's so great to see you guys again. Like as a person who's not sleep deprived and in a hotel room, it's great. To see. <laughs> I tell you what, it was... Um, an adventure i kind of think in a little way i actually got to it was a tour to go see people who i play trivia with <laughs> i've been to many of your guys' houses i know exactly where you're sitting now that was really fun how come you didn't get to new today. york it's a big city nobody invited me to give a talk you want some of this All right no it's okay thanks um yeah there's so, nothing to do in new york yeah it was kind of big and scary and and New York just scares me. Philadelphia too, but I really need to get over there. But I am coming back. That way. Nobody goes there. It's too crowded. Yeah, it is scary. Okay, so I'm going to put New you. It's in super room. safe in New York. Yeah. Well, right. hey, I don't. I don't worry about safety. I mean, my gosh, I almost got my 
by purse stolen in DC. Oh, that was something. And then, um, so I'm not worried about it too much. You guys go play for a little bit and come right back. What you doing? Don't be doing that. Okay, all right. Karen needs to go into room. Karen, you're there? We put you in your room. You're in room three. No, you're in room four.
Oh, I should probably put it on pause. It can't be interesting to watch me just talking to the room. Turn on the. <laughs> Mark's just signing in over here. He's going to be in there in a minute. I got to figure where I'm putting Who? Who is this Mark you speak of? I know. I kind of is he going to play? Yeah. Good. He was he was on my team last time. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm going to put him right now. He's going to go to get the link right now. He wanted to eat. He didn't want to eat in front of the computer, I guess. Hey, is that CSI thing in 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 um, October in Vegas? Is that sold out? Hasn't opened up the doors yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you better be going. I'd like to go. The no, no, you are going. To you know, you know, I, I'm, I want to. Me and my wife both want to. It's the thing about funds is what's the problem because we also want to go to Korea. No, no, this is far uh, more fun. <laughs> it's uh, Vegas, Vegas is closer than Korea. And well, it's Vegas, deeper. Vegas is on the way to Korea. Korea. Yeah, but Vegas is on is the way Korea. to Korea. So there you go. Except oh, wait, you're start. He's starting in California, aren't you? No, he's in. Uh, Kevin no, he's in. He's in Boston. Boston. Oh, Boston. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm nearer to you. <laughs> yeah. I've been to Jersey many times to Jersey. Yeah, you a cyclone is like no other thing. It is just it's like this trivia game, but hundreds of people, and you're gonna know lots of people, which but is gonna I, make it even more fun. Is, if I don't get tickets right away and it sells out, then I'm it screwed, won't sell right? out. It won't sell oh, okay. out. Okay. Okay. It then seems that seems like uh an unlikely occurrence. They okay, have that's room good. For then. enough people, yeah, that's they've good. had six hundred people in the past. I'm far more worried about it being essentially empty than I am about it selling out. I don't gotcha. think so, because you know what happened is Barry wrote to me yesterday. He says we're getting ready to launch it at the website. He says, "Do you have a couple friends? You have a couple friends that um, might like to go." You say would like to go and register. He says, "Do you think you have a couple that would look over the?" Um, look over the link for us uh, you know to make sure everything's working okay and register and i said absolutely and i messaged a couple of people and said hey here's the link here's i mean i didn't give them like i said would you do this and they're like yes 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 and they were frantically looking all over the place for where to um you know to register and then i said barry you didn't give me a link and the link that you have doesn't open and he says oh i didn't have the link i didn't realize you would have people who wanted to go so like within minutes wanting to register and i'm like yeah barry <laughs> he says i'll get back to you when i get the link <laughs> your your friends may not be completely representative of everyone in the world with well, regard to right in the world but maybe in the united states so there was a lot of people put it that way i i yeah. messaged about six people and they're like the link's not working did it already sell out <laughs> And I've heard that from people already have been like, it's going to sell out of the links closed. You mean I've already missed it? And I'm like, no, no, we haven't opened it up. You will know when it's open because it'll be announced everywhere. We'll, we'll be talking about, about how expensive is it going to be? Um, it's three, $400, I think. Per person, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and all the other stuff that are like, now, does that include a room at the hotel? No, or no. You, no the rooms are inexpensive. Yeah, the rooms aren't bad. No, I've been to Vegas before. I got married there. Yeah, you can you can stay at the conference hotel, which I recommend because everything happens there. But there's yeah. like there's other hotels really close to the Flamingo you could do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go with your wife, you could. It, okay, if your wife goes. No, my wife is definitely going. She would okay. never let me go to Vegas by myself. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. She's smart. She smart needs woman. to want to participate in the conference because if she doesn't, it's not going to be fun because you will be constantly with the conference goers and she's going to go, well, how come you don't want to go with me to wherever? And you're going to be like, because I'm at the conference with these hundreds yeah, of people. Yeah, but if we go, on. it's it's only weekend. We would stay for a day before, a couple of days before, a couple of days after. So we'll right. be able to do And I will too. I will probably go on Tuesday night. And, and maybe we'll like Monday renew our vows for fun or something like that at one of those drive-by hotels. That's true. Uh, but I'm, I'm so looking you. forward to seeing everybody. So for us newbies, what is this conference? So this is a skeptic conference. It's the big skeptic conference. It's held in the third week of October this year. It's called SciCon. 
It's uh, the biggest organization in the United States, Skeptical Inquiry, uh, uh, Committee for the Committee Skeptical, for Skeptical Inquiry. Inquiry. Leonard's <laughs> on the board. I'm one of the fellows. Mark Edward, who will be here in a minute, is one as a fellow also. It's the big organization. We're going to have Neil deGrasse Tyson there. We're going to have Penn and Teller. There's going to be some amazing speakers this year. We've had a council at the last two years because of COVID, but it is like a giant hangout as far as I'm concerned. And this is, it's like this, but 24 seven, you'll always find somebody who's wanting to hang out and something always going on. And I always, you know, have things going on in the side and it's a freaking blast. We're going to go see uh, Piff the Magic Dragon again. They were going to see him. He, I thought he was funny as heck. I think he's Jack great. There. He's great. He, he's um, really amazing. Oh, so you know who he is? Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw him on America's Got, ta got America's Talent. Got talent. Yeah, That's talent. where he made his, his debut. Well, he's he did perform for a conference a couple of years ago, and now he'll be there. Um, who's on? Okay, Richard Weissman, who you may or may not know who he is. Who is he's the guy who did the comic book, right? Yeah, he is a talent. Uh, he just wrote comics. a book on uh, the Copperfield on magic. And He's amazing. I think I'd go just for Weissman. Mazmo Polidorio will be there. Oh God, what a oh yeah. Um, off the top of my head, I could listen to Mazimo talk, no matter <laughs> what he's saying. He's got such a fantastic get up accent. And just read the phone book. He's I'll a woman. Give, I'll be giving a talk. Kenny Biddle will be giving a talk. I can't say much more because it's not been announced. So I can't really say, I can only say who's been announced. Um, well, yeah, the- Neil uh, deGrasse Tyson is gonna draw some people. Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson will be yeah, there. Yeah, I suspect he will. Yeah, yeah, so that's gonna, that might make Finn it Then so will be there. Yep. The uh, whole, getting a room at the hotel would be the probably the- No, you won't have course. a problem. Really, they have that many places. Well, if yeah, you I know have, around the hotel, it's other ones, but I, I've been to like the um, the Chilla Theater in New Jersey. That hotel sells out, and that is literally it's a weekend well, we, event. Oh, that's the, huge! Yeah, the Flamingo's big. Yeah, yeah, it's really big. Flamingo's Carl, big Carl's been to a bunch of these too. Big enough block of rooms. Yeah, it's, it's a block of rooms. It's, Very good. Yeah, it's amazing. And they've oh, we've already tried to look for that weekend, and they've elevated the prices right now, and I think that's to encourage people not to book until they can block off stuff because it's very um, cheap otherwise like 53 to 60 dollars a night <laughs> on the on the weekdays mm -hmm. it's the the flamingo apparently is the most uh affordable hotel on the strip that doesn't surprise me at all there's a and few of them that are advertising right now in the 25 and 35 dollar oh. range yeah we're trying to get people, to go. people that's why that's why cycon is held in vegas because flights i mean it, they used to hold it in different places. They had it in New, New Orleans one year. They had it in Tennessee one year. Nashville, uh, yeah. And I didn't go to those, but the one in Vegas, it, they found it's just the whole cheap. Thing. The flights are usually cheaper. Oh, yeah. It's a really easy city to get to. It's not in, It's not uh, terribly expensive. It's it's built for, for conferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and gambling. You know what you yeah. can also do, Kevin, is you can get a, you can get a larger place, like renting a uh, B and B or something, and share it with other people. Other other. No, it would be me and my wife. We'll stay at that place at the Flamingo. Okay, good because that's. Or where if we don't, we'll, we'll stay at Circus Circus or someplace on the Strip. You know, someplace very close. Anyway, yeah. so yes, yeah, Psycon. Uh, I'm looking I encourage people flyer. to stay in the Flamingo. That's more of that, uh, yeah, that's what I'll try and do first. It's, it's my so, first so much easier to just pop down and socialize. Yeah, and that's what you spend your and time. And I probably doing. won't even need a car then because. Oh no no! Don't get a car. Just get I, anything from. I never <laughs> ever get a car. My, if there's anything in my drink. I yeah, do do not get a car in Vegas. Yeah, don't get a car, especially because if you're if you're looking at finances, it's an expense you don't need. You need a ride to and from the airport. And everything else, you, you yeah, can the walk shuttles away. do that. We, we when we've been before, we went a couple of times. We spent like a week there. We got married in '92. Oh, that's and, right. Yeah. Julia Sweeney. She's car and drove around Julia everything. Sweeney's going to be there. Uh, she's, she's announced. Fun. That's she was Pat been, from uh, SNL. Yeah, I know she is. She's good. I don't. I've never really met her. Um, so, Richard Dawkins. I'll, I'll introduce you. <laughs> so if you're visiting, well, let's see. If you're visiting Vegas, aren't you supposed to get a car that you can take through uh, Musk's uh, a tunnel? Oh, we no. just have a tunnel? Yes, no. and we're going to, we're, if you want to, we're going to take like an Uber to try to go through it. <laughs> I didn't know he had a tunnel. Why, why yeah, the, bother? Um, what is it yes. called? Yes. 
He's, he, yes, he's he's got a boring company. company. He's got a company yeah. that's very boring. Yeah, it's called the so, Hyperloop. We no, just not. came back, Susan, on our own. Nobody. The boring. Knows. The boring company is not a Hyperloop, yeah. although they talking. may build one. Oh. But currently, it's not a Hyperloop. I'm clo I'm it. closing the rooms right now. I was talking about okay. Musk's Hyperloop. Yeah. We yeah, the boring company is not yeah. a Hyperloop. No, I, I forgot. Yeah. It. It's I, it's the. We've been to uh, Vegas a couple of times. Uh, first time because my nephew was a Hi, member Karen. of the Blue Man Group. Oh, oh is nice. that right? Really? Oh, yeah. What do you know? They're fun. Nice. I've never seen them. Oh, I haven't either. Right. I know what they are, but I've never seen them live. I saw them in Boston. They they I have them. They have a lot of they have a lot of them over the country. They'll have a yeah. show in Boston <laughs> the same night. They'll have one in Chicago. Or whatever. There's a whole bunch of them that are Blue Men Cries. I still haven't seen them. Yeah. They're very good. They're very good. Were they born that way or do they paint their faces? <laughs> yes. They're, They're related, related to the Smurfs. That has got yeah. to be related to the Smurfs. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Caspian. Can you hear me? Hello. Yay, Susan's home. Yay, Yay. Susan's home. I tell you what, man, it's nice to be home. Susan sent me a postcard. <laughs> it got there. To, it got here today. How did you? Oh, it did. Wow. And it cool. came from. It came from St. Louis. Yeah. The arch. The picture of the arch on it. Well, yep. nice. Did it actually get mailed in St. Louis? It's hard to tell. It did. I think she did. It's one of my rules. Had the postcard has to be mailed it. from the it area. Literally hand canceled. The whoever the postal person was scribbled over the stamp with a pen. Cool. Well, that's interesting. Wow. I've I wonder why it took so long to get to you. I got I got my St. Louis one. Or the, uh, the pen didn't write. Yeah, Susan did it. <laughs> Maybe. All right, All right you guys, here we are. We're back. Okay, here we go. So game hmm. 107. Let's go ahead and go through our group names for Avi and Alan, Mr. and Mr. Sprout, Big Sprout, Little Sprout, Ben, Jamie, and Larry. What's your team name tonight? It's so nice to be able to do this again. We are yeah. the Hairy Face Brigade. <laughs> oh, am I on look and see who's on Susan, your team. Am I on that team? <laughs> you no. can be. No. Um, you'll you'll have to get a sharpie though. Uh -huh. Hairy face. Not really. <laughs> okay. Just, just an HD camera. <laughs> oh. So on our next group is Caspian, Gail, Janine, Jeff, Deborah, and the birthday boy, Mark Edward. What's your team name tonight? We are the self-replicating gory cupcakes. Mm. Wow. Oh, pleasant. Yay, the new self-replicating vaccine out of uh, that is being tested in Vietnam and it's very promising. Hey, I yeah, learned something new for every day from you guys. Uh, vaccine being tested in Vietnam. Is this for COVID is, or, or is this for it's something COVID, else? Yeah. Not it's monkey a COVID, COVID vaccine, but, but in like the other mRNA vaccines, it's like this is going to be a blueprint for future vaccines of other things. So like it's promising in many respects. Oh, well, that's and, exciting. And I think they're going to try to produce it in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so next team is Bob, Carrick, Leonard, Ron, and Kevin. Who are you guys tonight? Oh, I guess that's me. Uh, we're the Madison Cawthorn Memorial Team. <laughs> <laughs> that made me so happy, but you know what? I think like a bad penny is going to show up again somewhere. Oh, uh, I, I read that I, he was I, I heard the guy, what the, uh, why, um, what was the, what what was the latest thing? Something did, did he sort of leave politics or something? Or no, he lost he, his primary. Lost his yeah, primary. I lost the primary. Oh, oh, okay. Did he put uh, it in somebody, the chat? Somebody hmm. tweeted that he was retiring to spend more time with his cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember Dr. Oz's um, Dr. Oz's primary was too close to call. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. what the other penny will draw. That's all. Oh, yeah. Can you can you put it in the chat, please? All right. Let me I can't hide. spell damn nothing. There's a bug in here. More time. He needs more time for orgies. <laughs> Doctor Oz. Okay. Uh, I know. Ugh. Is all I want. I to know. Say. Ugh. Okay. Who is, so, the, who is the guy that went that lost his primary? That is the guy in the wheelchair. 
His cousin and I were snarking about it. He's, he's tiny. He's um. He's got um. He's one of these January six people, and like he's horrible. But he's yeah. like twenty five, I think, when he won his twenty six. He's the he's twenty six now. He's twenty six yeah. now. Elected, yeah. North Carolina. I bet you guys are just so we sad, Faith and Romero, that we we were like, just very happy that he pissed off Tom Tillis, and I think the video of him humping his cousin with naked was the thing that sent everything over the edge somebody's yeah. head his head right yes he was he his genitals were hitting the top of his cousin's head and i'm like like they were being stupid whatever but it's i don't care but, about that but it's calling people you know he's being a hypocrite for some reason i missed my, that my understanding was the thing that upset the GOP was he might be gay oh yeah that would oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was because of the drug orgies if that if that video had not come out, he probably would have won. Oh, oh I missed the video. I know. I'm happy. You can find it on Twitter. <laughs> okay, thanks. For Carl, Mike, <laughs> Peggy, Romero, and Faith. Who are you guys playing tonight as? Romero and Terry. Romero pronounced this. Tres, 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 tigres. Wait, wait. Okay. Three sad tigers. What is that? Don, don, Three sad tigers, but 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 I don't know what. The Ringo rest is. in un drink. Can pronounce it for her. I can't see that. What is that big word? I can't see it really well. Tragaban. 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 Three. Tragaban. Bad tigers. Eight. Something tringo in the in the tribe. Uh, what does it mean? We're uh, three sad tigers. Eight wheat in a wheat field. <clears throat> Three sad got... tigers, what? Eight wheat in a wheat field. Uh -huh. Hate okay. wheat? Eight wheat. Eight. Eight. Oh, eight wheat. So is this just one of those things to say like, uvos con queso también un beso? It's just like a, like a, the rain in Spain. It's a Spanish yeah. tongue twister. De, uh -huh. oh, tres tristes tigres. Yeah. <laughs> Tringo en un trigal. <laughs> Yeah, like like she's didn't make sense in the to me. Shells. Sad tigers eating wheat in the field. Okay, sad tigers. <laughs> Jim, Kyle, Robin, Vincent, and Wendy. Wendy's back. Here I am. <laughs> what you playing as? Two American plus two Canadians equals Canadian five great ones. Five great ones. Yeah. Well, is how that, do you have five? Is that math or arithmetic? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's definitely um, a that's definitely math. Definitely long edition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two that's two because we decided on the team name. I will. Yeah. And then before Robin came back. Yeah, Robin. And then, and then, Robin's in your room, so. Then Robin is in our room. So okay, yeah. sounds great. Okay, here's the team name. So today is May the nineteenth, twenty twenty two. This is the uh, Mark Edwards' actual birthday, which is great. It's Happy Thursday. birthday, to you, Mark. He's in the other room. Happy birthday. He's getting, I bought him some carrot cake, so he's he's um, yum. on that. Um, game number one hundred and seven, Cien y Siete, <laughs> season two, episode. 50 is what I have written down here. Carl's the yes. official record keeper, so he should know these things. And we're going to be playing our first game for a while that I'm actually running. And I want to thank Rob Palmer, who's out on vacation, I believe, right now, um, for running the game and for all of you guys for hey, participating because that hey, is really Rob. nice. Hey, yeah, Rob. Rob. Thank you, Rob. It's appreciated because otherwise I don't know how we would have done it because I don't think I could have done run it. I was exhausted most of the time that I was gone. So um, it would have been really, I mean, I could have done it, I guess, but it, it was, you know, I would be worried I didn't get Wi-Fi or something like that. So we have the five teams that are playing tonight are the Hairy Face Brigade versus Self-Replicating Gory Cupcakes. <laughs> We're only, only here. Versus Madison Cawthorn Memorial Team. <laughs> I don't know why my heart goes out to that team. V versus Tres Tristes Tigres. Tagaban Tringo en un Triga versus two Americans plus two Canadians equals five great ones. So very good. So I'm wondering who's going to be the winner of this tonight, who is going to be the, the winners of game 107. We will never see the likes of this ever again. So exciting to see. I've got lots of things on our 
on our on the list uh, to talk about during the the break. And don't forget, get your vocal cords la 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 for a, a nice happy birthday. <laughs> so let's see. We have tonight, 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 tonight. We have five five brave individuals who are going to give their their cat a race tonight. We're starting off with Jamie, all the way from Thailand. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? And then it's followed by Janine up in Oregon and Leonard, who's only an hour and a half for me. And don't let me forget, I'm going to be probably doing Memorial Day down here at my house uh, this week. Karen who, and Robin. So let's go. First up is going to be Jamie. I need to give the powers to Jamie. There he is on the okay. screen. And Good. I'm going to make my co-host today to be able to handle the audio um, I'm going to do Mike. So you are my co-host. You're handling okay. the volume. I mean, the um, the booting of those people who need to be booted, Mike, and okay. uh, all the other so stuff. Susan, or, or remember, yeah, remember that I'm on an iPad. So remember, I have limited abilities to jump around. So are you okay with me flinging you? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, I have no choice. My so, favorite part is flinging so, people. The, room. the fling. Do your flinging thing. Trebuchet I'm style. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> well, in mid speech, I can't I'm see where he is. Machine. I will just, I just see his name on it, and I just, after a few minutes, I say, Let's put him in another room so he could be in mid speech. You guys talking to you, and all of a sudden he's not there anymore. So just keep that in mind when Jamie's speaking. So yeah, when those egg timers. <laughs> and you, um, you can share things in your chat, right? I think you can. Uh, I kind of sort of when I, <laughs> what's bad about an ipad is when i get out of chat i go back in everything gets erased oh okay so all right <laughs> it doesn't keep any history so it's a little bit awkward everybody keep that in mind but you can put the questions for your first round today and right yeah no problem well okay we'll what, uh, what okay. do you got today what are you starting us out with okay Something so tough. the category is going to be television celebrity chefs oh Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we, we, Seriously? Yeah, we, 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 we've been watching, I don't know if you get this in the States, but we have, we have HBO and there's a, an excellent mini series called Julia, which is about Julia Child. Yeah. And if you guys have never um, seen this mini series, it's, it's fantastic. It's really excellent. It, it was on, it was on Netflix, I think. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we we've done everything. Now I can say we have done everything as a category. So Jamie yeah, is so. pointing to a new series. It is not the film or anything you've seen on Netflix. This is new on HBO Max. It's, yes. it's a new series uh -huh. on Thursday nights. Yeah, it's excellent. Well, of so course nobody here has seen it because we're all, all right. playing trivia. Oh, it's not. <laughs> no, you you can you don't have to we see it when it drops. Oh, 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 that's the oh, Meryl Street movie. It's not okay. Movie. So my it's not Julia and Julia. Do you want to do the honors? Who's running the mute hammer? Michael. Michael. Okay. Unmute yourself, Jamie. Uh, can Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. It's a little okay. So the first question this is a little awkward because I I did the questions on um, a Windows computer, but I'm running this on an iPad. And after the last update yesterday, um, they don't talk to each other. So the formatting is messed up. How so rude. How rude. Typ typical you know, Windows iOS updates. So bear with me, because it's a little bit awkward now to uh, copy and paste. Awkward. So, yeah. OK, <laughs> so the first question. The TV show, I Love to Eat, was America's first network cooking show in 1946. And was hosted by what famous chef and author? Okay. Oops. Oh, come on. That came out okay. It's formatted fine. Oh, fantastic. Okay, number two. The French Chef, which featured Julia Child, was filmed from 1963 to 1973 in the PBS studios of what city? Okay. 
Okay, number three, takes a little time here. There it goes. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Fine. I like the way the format is actually, it's perfect for me. Okay, number three. From 1996 to 2000, Julia Child used over 750 pounds of this ingredient during filming of her second PBS TV show. With enough blank, anything is good, she always said. Fill in the blank. Number four, Dan Aykroyd portrayed Julia Child in a famous Saturday Night Live skit in 1978. As she was preparing a chicken to roast, what happened? Note to self, I gotta see that. When, when you're done it's with very, this, somebody find the link for me. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, number five. Graham Kerr was a celebrated TV chef from 1968 to 1973, and was known for always sipping a glass of wine before each commercial break. He was known as the Blank Gourmet. Okay, hold on. Number six. The Blank Gourmet became America's most watched TV cooking show when it aired from 1983 to 1995 and it starred Jeff Smith. Fill in the blank. Number seven. The original Iron Chef was filmed at the Fuji TV studios in Tokyo from 1993 to 1999. It featured four cuisines, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, and French. Who was Iron Chef Japanese? Oops. Okay, number eight. The same celebrity cook became the head chef at which world famous New York City Japanese restaurant where now reservations at least two months in advance are necessary. Don't watch the video yet, whatever you do. Yeah, it says don't watch it, it will be cheating, but we found the link. <laughs> oh, good, okay. Thank you, Mike. Okay, that's where it's for now. So hold on, number nine. Okay, hold on. Oops. No, hold on. Oh, okay, number nine. Master Chef is a world famous TV cooking competition show originating in the UK in 1990. It won the Guinness Book of World Records by being the locally, by being locally adapted in how many different countries in the world? And you have to be within plus or minus five. Hi, John. Number 10. With the exact same episodes of Hell's Kitchen featuring Gordon Ramsay air in the USA and Australia, there's one major difference. What is this difference? And a bonus question, hold on. When Gordon Ramsay yells at a competing chef on Hell's Kitchen, one of his favorite insults is, my blank could do better and blank blank. Fill in the three blanks. <laughs> okay. Does that one. 
That sounds like a Okie dokie. Okay, Mike, you want to send us to the rooms? Good job, Jamie. Category okay. we've never had before. Yeah, good. Excellent. Because I was trying to, I watched it every day. And I, I, that's the yes, and uh, I think he became an alcoholic because of his uh, wine. He said, drink. "Which one, Galloping Gourmet, was five? Was that or five six? or six? Yes, that was five. That was five. Yeah. Okay. Always yeah. sipping a glass of wine. I remember him. Yeah, I had butter, but I wasn't sure. So Larry confirmed. Yeah. I think butter. it's butter, or is it sugar? That's butter. butter. I, I think butter. butter, it was either butter or some sort of alcohol, but. Uh... <laughs> she had the alcohol. <laughs> Do we know where her show was filmed? Was it Chicago? I have no idea. Or was it, was it America? Yeah, it's PBS Studios. It's PBS, yeah. I think, didn't, didn't um, PBS do a lot of shooting from Chicago? I mean, Chicago is the best of the cities. Uh -huh. I haven't been there. Yet, <laughs> I can't tell you that, but it seems like, isn't that where PBS is mainly? I, I have no idea. Really but I mean, okay they, it says that. the studios Boston, of it. Uh, Boston has, um, and then there's WNYC in New York City, New York City, but that's an NB NPR thing. So. so how many places, how many choices do we have? I mean, like how many PBS I mean, stations probably went in LA? <clears throat> I would, I mean, I like Chicago just because it's Chicago. Well, does that sound likely? I don't does know. Anybody, does anybody know about uh, what her years? life story or anything? 63 to 73. Would that nope. give us any hint? No. Nope. Dad, do you remember anything from the movie? Uh, no. Uh, any landmarks? But the, no, Chicago doesn't, Chicago though, does not ring a bell. Yeah, that might have rang a bell to you if it was, right? I mean, With French cuisine, it? for some reason, like the, the high cuisine stuff, I, I, I think New York. Yeah, I'm thinking she was in New York. I think it was in New York. I'm fine with, with whatever it. you say. Okay. Sure. Is that what you want to go with? I have no idea. Okay. Anyone number four. One? What was it that happened in the... I didn't see this. Is she preparing a chicken to roast? I wasn't born yet. Did he get drunk? Sorry, who? What's Dan the question? Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd skit. Oh, oh I, well, I don't. I can see him scene. taking a lot of tips of alcohol in him. Just oh, him. I so vaguely remember this skit, but I do not remember what happened with the chicken. No, if it was. Uh, it doesn't say it happened to the chicken. It said what happened. So it could have been she got wasted. Now, if it was Rowan Atkinson, I'd say he put the turkey on his head. But. Yeah, I remember it being, I remember <laughs> Rowan Atkinson's when, oh my God, Mr. Bean. I'm trying to remember if like she caught fire or the chicken caught fire. Or well, if you're writing like an SNL skit, what would you want to happen to the chicken to, for the best laugh? Starts talking. Oh, did her boobs get on fire? That would cut. I would think that would be captured under sea caught on fire. Yeah, but uh, Larry, you may be thinking that because that's what happened to Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what happened? What's wasn't one of the? I don't know if this is the answer to six, but when when I saw these two questions that were the blank gourmet, wasn't one of the shows called like the Roving Gourmet or something? Well, that's galloping, is it? That... Right. And so number six is the Roving Gourmet, maybe. And I have no idea. No, that's that just doesn't a sound. A show that I I remember hearing. Galloping Gourmet, Larry didn't he? Didn't he? Uh, I forgot. He used to because he traveled a bunch. So he would talk about the different places that he had been and show pictures from his travels. Uh, oh, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't recall. But uh, uh, well, the I one that drank, the, the one that I drank watched. all the time was uh, was Graham Kerr. Yeah. No, right. But I, I remember his show. I, 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 I watched it. I watched it all the time. Okay. So, what was the other gourmet? 
I mean, the first thing I thought of is galloping gourmet. So well, that's number five. Yeah. Right. So is there another one that you can think of that was a famous gourmet something gourmet? Oh, well, was what one? was the name of that guy that committed suicide? That he was Bourdain. Uh, Bourdain. 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 He was, he was that. That wasn't a gourmet thing. That was it. Wasn't gourmet in the name? He was like. Oh, yeah, okay. that was much later, wasn't something. it? Yeah. Yeah. What about which which question is the one? I I can't see that small. What which which question is the one with the uh, the famous uh, who was uh, the early guy, the first guy or something like that? I was thinking, could it be? And of course, now I'm not going to remember the name. Um, I love to eat. Yeah, yeah the I, first I question I love person. to eat in 1946 was hosted by what famous chef and author? Well, I was thinking. Now the trouble is, I think it, he's not. He's like Wolfgang Puck, but he, I don't think he's old enough. And uh, and there was God damn it! I knew I should have written it down. The, the uh, another name came to me, and and of course I can't remember. Um. For the the Gordon Ramsay one, number ten, mm -hmm. probably the 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 swear words are censored in. That's what US. I was thinking too, Avi. I figured it probably had to do with swear words, or yeah. do we just want to say like censorship? Censorship, yeah. You know, I seem to remember words. there was um. Oh no, that was, was my thought. Yeah, oh, it was the way, British was one where they they took the they didn't get the sponsorship for some of the awards and stuff like that, so they had to. They had to edit out the words on like an award or something because they didn't have the licensing for for a lot of things. But I think that was the Great American Bake Off or UK Bake Off or something right. like that. They're saying that that was the only difference is that they had they had to take some of the uh, um, words I'm, off the screen. Also, could uh, James Beard be one of those? Uh, is he old enough to be one of the uh, the early ones? No idea. I don't know. Uh, I because I, I think he's older than Puck. I think I uh because Wolfgang Puck is still around and and if we're talking the late forties, uh I th I I I think uh, uh dead by now. Puck is no, I don't think old enough. So what what was this guy's name? James Beard. Well, it definitely goes with the themes with theme our theme. Of, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> All right. Do we want to say like? Do we want to hey, say like it's caught fire, or what do we want to say for our guest for four? Uh, uh, she catches on fire. About. I doubt. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm just gonna put out there just to be annoying. Yeah. I think it's that she gets drunk. Actually, you know what? I'm it kind of be. that is right. I'm now I'm, I'm vaguely recall that maybe I've seen. But remember, this. my goal is to give bad advice to every team I go that to. That is true. I we have barely... to we have to weigh the <laughs> Susan usually steers us wrong versus sometimes but she confidence. has the answer. I'm starting I use to remember extreme confidence so that she feels well, like what, I, what, I might be right. I'm starting to recall what did you say again, thing. Susan? I think it is she's getting she gets drunk. But you know that that I think has been a like a a meme skit on other things as well. So it could be though, yeah, because it it could also be like it could have been another show I've seen too. Yeah, but you know what? A lot of these things there's, there's very little in the in the way of humor that's original anyway. Right. So every, everything is copied. I mean. So that's the question: Is are we re remembering it from that skit or just from some other? Or from both. Right. Well, I I've never seen the skit, so. You know, don't take my word for anything out of this. <laughs> what do you guys think? What's our consensus? Do we want to say fire or getting drunk? Should Should be something else. Else? What, Avi? Should I think getting drunk might be fun here. Should we flip a coin? I like, you know, what? I, I like the I like the drunk one, even if I don't know the real answer. OK, I guess we have a majority saying drunk. All right. That works for me. <laughs> I mean, that would be funny as well as getting been, as catching yeah. on fire. So, okay, all right. So, so we need the other, the other gourmet. The, what could I just be? remember something it's when I was a kid that I thought show. it was like roving gourmet or something. I mean, I've heard of the galloping gourmet too, but I don't know. Is roving gourmet too yeah, similar, similar to? I think it's too similar. I've never heard of it, but it seems like we should have heard this name. I mean, I've never watched the galloping gourmet but that's definitely a word i re i mean i remember that 
Larry, that that show was also, I think, filmed in Ottawa. I think it was uh, it was it was filmed in Canada. Oh, so CBC show or CTV? <laughs> uh, I, well, it may have been. I mean, it may have been on. The, I, I didn't realize it was shown here. Could it have been like the Sicilian gourmet or like a the European gourmet or the Southern gourmet? You know, like a local localized maybe a name from some, or it could have been like the French gourmet. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, up for if anyone has any suggestions. Uh, do, you know any, do you know any of the uh, any of the Japanese things? I mean, I do recall this vaguely this person from watching parts of Pieces of Iron Chef when I was a kid. But I have no idea they, what that guy's um, name is. I don't know what his name is, and I wouldn't. Remember and is this? I was unclear. Is it saying that eight is related to seven? I think so. Yeah. This same celebrity cook became the head chef at which world famous? Well, can we come up with this? Um, world famous New York, world famous City. New York City I wouldn't restaurant. Eat Japanese restaurant. food if it was if I was starving, probably. Really? So. Oh no! Oh no! Even I don't eat anything eat? weird. I don't. I, no, I, I, no. I I I would travel more if I knew I would eat the food. Probably. You, you, you've Very never cake. tasted wasabi. No, I'm not having that. No, none of that. <laughs> oh no. I've always eaten my uh, my calif my my sushi my California rolls incorrectly because I always I put the was you know I dip I put wasabi into the teriyaki sauce the soy sauce or the soy sauce then I dip the thing and then I put the uh, I put the um, the ginger the ginger on the thing and eat it all together yeah I like sushi what's that I said I like sushi. I don't but have it very not, often, but I do like it. That's not the correct way to eat the sushi. Apparently, you're also supposed to eat it in one bite. Um, I just it. Oh, I got to fling. <laughs> you guys forgot. You, I forgot. I have to fling Jamie around. You made me forget. Oh, sorry. I put Where him did he go? He's not him. with us, though. I so moved him out he of here. been in a holding quick. pattern this whole time? No, I put him out of, I put him into two and I forgot to move him. <laughs> so, Oops. do we know the bonus? Um, my, my mom could do better. Yeah. He's like, dead. Because I've seen a clip, again, I don't know if this is the answer, but I've seen a clip where him and his mom have a little bake off on one of the episodes and his his dish isn't cooked all the way through. So his mom totally gives him trouble about it. <laughs> I, I have <laughs> to think it would, my grandmother could do better and she's Yeah. Dead. If his mom's on the show, then my grandma could do better and she's and dead. And she's dead. That sounds. I'm just guessing, good. you guys. It just fits the blanks. I don't know. Mother. And let's do it like this. And she's dead. Yes. There. There's with, all of our blanks. And with the, fits, the, the fits of phrase. And with the sushi. You don't eat with the ginger. Apparently, it's a palate cleanser. It's a palate cleanser, but it tastes best. With oh, the yeah, in between. Yeah. But I mean, that'd only be if you're going back and forth. Like, if you're going to take a same piece of this, of the same sushi, you wouldn't really need a palate cleanser, right? Well, no, the idea is apparently you're supposed to eat it in one shot, in one, in one bite. You don't nibble on yeah. you don't. Well, yeah, right. But you... there's like multiple slices to a roll. So I'm asking if you're supposed to yeah. cleanse your palate between each slice or not. Or only when you switch from one nine, night to you got to come up with a number. Yeah, and what do we think for countries? Probably a big number because it's got a plus or minus five. Ninety. So. Well, not too big because he's only giving us five. So uh, you know, it would be under a hundred. Uh, my guess was going to be ninety, but again, that is not based on any knowledge that I have. It's just a guess. I, I don't one know. The Guinness well, World uh, it, it would probably have shown on any uh, British. Uh, any country that was a member of the British. Uh, How many Commonwealth countries are there, Dad? Commonwealth countries, and of course, any English country. So under fifty, under twenty-five. No, I would go. I would. I but would if it's in the Guinness Book of World Records, you would think that it couldn't be too low, right? No, yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, you can have you can have a record that is like one or two you know if nobody else has ever done it yeah but there's there's definitely lots of shows that are so that are because they'll it doesn't matter whether it has to be english speaking or not they'll translate it just like you think of how many different countries friends appeared in friends was also no it's being locally adapted 
doesn't necessarily mean it's a redub. Like Sesame Street okay. has been locally adapted to tons and tons and tons of different countries. So under 100, more than 50? What, how's it yeah. worded? What's the question worded? MasterChef is a world famous TV cooking competition originating in the UK in 1990. It won the Guinness World Record by being locally adapted in how many different countries within five? Oh, locally adapted. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this has got nothing to do with the same like show. Like the show being seen. It's, it's actually yeah. been redone in every country. Yeah. Oh well, then I can, that that could be over a hundred. That it's a little bit like uh, it's just a little bit like uh, 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 America's Got Talent. Yeah, Even British Brit Britain's Got Talent. They, they, got this talent. year there was a Canadian Canada's Got Talent. Oh really? Oh cool. <laughs> and all five so, people, all five people entered. So yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> and they all know each other. The, the, what, the judge. We need to come up with a number because we're going to run out of time. Uh, I'd say like 70, 75, 75, 75. 75. Okay, does that work for everybody? Sure. Yeah, because some of these some of these countries uh, they don't have any food to cook. <laughs> I think Britain they have doesn't have any to food cook. to cook. Otherwise, so we, need, we need a <laughs> guess for the world famous New York City restaurant, which I don't really know. My does anybody know restaurant? any Japanese restaurant? Horned, horned, and, horned and hard art. <laughs> Shogun. I have no idea. Shogun's a word. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds Japanese. Well, but that that's one of the restaurants that that we get sushi from here in Illinois. Oh, well, maybe there's yeah. a Shogun restaurant in New York. Is it could world be. famous? It could but I don't be. Know if it's world famous. How about the name, the name of the restaurant is the world famous New York City Japanese restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> I've been bummed about number six. It seems like that's something we should know. Or maybe the maybe it's just called Japanese restaurant because there is like in London, Ontario, there is a Korean restaurant that is called Korean restaurant. Right, but is it famous or <laughs> is it famous, in the wall yeah. or what? It's too far away. Korean restaurant. How about the Irish gourmet? Maybe. That doesn't sound. That's not ringing a bell, huh? No. The jumping gourmet. Well, the hopping hey. on one foot gourmet. Okay. Could the restaurant name be like a name of a Japanese city? How about Sukiyaki? Maybe. Sukiyaki. Tokyo. Sukiyaki, that sounds good to me. How do you spell it? S-U-K-I-Y-A-K-I. It's not a, it's not a spelling that thing anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Is it I have uh, no idea. Two words? It's two words, isn't it? Suki, sukiyaki. Just one word. Just it doesn't matter as long as you say sukiyaki. I don't care. Okay, all right. You spell it right. Yeah, so spelling the, never counts. So. Famous, the fame back in the early sixties, there was a famous song out of Japan. The guy sang a sukiyaki. It was it was uh, it was like a uh, uh, number one in the on the hit parade. Oh, it's starring it's Jeff Smith. I'm still going back to that gourmet because that's probably that's right around the time that I'd be watching a. a cooking show like you know growing up with my with my dad or something uh, yeah that's it was 83 to 95 me. but jeff smith i don't know well i wouldn't have known the name the real name of uh, the galloping gourmet may so but i only knew of a galloping gourmet so the french gourmet the, nice i love that sound avi the the minstrel gourmet <laughs> The minstrel? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard minstrel. I, That's what I said. The musical gourmet. The, uh, um, how about, uh, what's his name? Um, the Smith gourmet. The Jeff gourmet. You know, I think you mentioned traveling gourmet, and that, that might be an idea. Just put it down because it's better than I, nothing yeah and traveling just reminds me of galloping but put it because what else you know traveling as opposed to the roving gourmet i don't know why that's in my head i have no idea if it's roving right gourmet? it's just something traveling something that's roving? stuck roving? in my head i don't head. care either is fine oh, sure go, go with roving. what do you guys like roaming sounds a little more likely than if, traveling. if that if that fits good okay. for your brain go for it <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Um, Put roaming. Don't you guys okay. agree? I don't yep. know. Yep. Go with the roaming. I don't care. Up one more. Okay. Line. So what are we missing? Or we can the do Japanese traveling. ones. Well, we'll go gourmet's already in there. Okay. So the original Iron Chef is filmed at the Fuji Television Studios. It's the only one we need an answer for. I'm going to bring Jamie back into this room now and see if he can tell us how how close everybody is to being done. Hey, Ben, where are you? You're in Illinois. Hi, Jamie. Yes. How's everybody <laughs> doing in the rooms? St. Louis. Oh, you're in St. Louis. I think, um, I think most people are just about, some people are stuck. I've got another minute. People uh, I'm, done. So I'm going I'm to hit close, close to all, I'll hit close all rooms and then that gives them a minute. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I think it gives them two minutes, doesn't it? No, that was, I, that, was when, uh, that was when Rob was running it. I guess he had changed the time out to be uh, two minutes. Okay, so I've changed. I kind of like, the, like the two minutes, though. That was nice. It's probably something you can change you in your settings, I guess. You guys hear well, that? He, I don't say how he changed it because I don't think he changed anything and didn't change it back. Because did he log in as you? Mm hmm or was he okay? I wasn't sure if he was logging in as him, but you oh, just made him a host. My account, he has my password and everything. Huh. So, what were you saying, Avi? Sure that Zoom um, changed their uh, settings for uh, two people so that now two people only have 40, 40 minutes before they're kicked out. Yeah, because didn't it used to be you had to have three or more that it had that time limit? Because yeah, was, it, was it? Alan, I think you posted something about it, yeah. right? When you yeah, the one I you were doing yeah, the meeting that found got cut off. Apparently throwing me from place to place. It's called Ooh. flinging. Flinging. You flung. 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 You flung. Oh. Flung by Susan. Flung <laughs> That's a, pri a privilege. It was a is that remember that old that one Monty Python sketch where the, the cat guy's cat supposedly could fly? So she, does she fly at her? No, I fling her. <laughs> <laughs> She's been flung from room to room. So oh, you were able to get your rooster and the rooster came in. Yeah, that's yeah. Max. Yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah. Well, good job, good job, Jamie. Those are some interesting questions. I didn't think I would have any answer to, but I think I, I think really, most people did okay. I don't know. I might have talked to people into something that probably is <laughs> That's my job to come to each room and do this, right? Yep. Act with mm -hmm. confidence and oh, for Max is in. <laughs> yeah. Feeling much bit more like myself here. It's we important to stick know. with your strengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can't tell if it's accurate or not. Caspian's done this his whole life. Whenever mm -hmm. we play trivia or okay. he's a team, he always <laughs> says it with a straight face, some answer. He'll say, Jag or Hoover. And you're all like, you know that? Yes. <laughs> it might not be right, but boy, he does it with such a straight face and as if with such confidence that it, we always said, okay. <laughs> do, do you do you know What's that there's one name? Which yeah. one is one, J. Edgar Hoover? Do, do you know there's one card that isn't in the American version of Trivial Pursuit? One card? In the American yes. version? Yes. In the original uh, American version? Yes. And the card is that Nancy Reagan was pregnant when she got married. Oh, Ooh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, so trivia? So one. There is some trivia for you. You mean she didn't <laughs> just say no? Well, was just, <laughs> that was to drugs. Yeah. So was that? Uh, so, so was that? Was that kid Ron Reagan Jr. Connected. So was she pregnant? I guess so. Or is it just a question? Uh, it's, it's probably it's simple true. enough to figure out, you know, just it says it in trivial pursuit, it is right. Caspian, do you know was Ronald Reagan's wife pregnant when she got married? I wouldn't have any clue. Well, I was expecting well, him to say something. All, all you have to do is uh did she have a child uh, within the, the first date. year? Yeah. They, they, they had are, a very short pregnancy in that time. He was there pregnant. are other options. The father was J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> All right. So this is his first wife or second wife? I have no. I, I thought it was Nancy Reagan. I was... Nancy was his second wife. 
Yeah, she, it was the second oh. wife. At Jane least, maybe. Jane Wyman, Wyman, it's yeah. okay, he was a Democrat when he got divorced from the first one. <laughs> okay, According Jane. to Wikipedia, they had their daughter, Patricia, born less than eight months after their wedding. <laughs> there and you is go. it Nancy? <laughs> Nancy? Yes. Right. She, she, Nancy. she was it premature, was, right? I don't think no. that's horribly unreasonable for a premature birth, but still it's a bit suspicious. How big, how big was she when she was born? That's <laughs> Unfortunately, Wikipedia does not have that information. Ah. Okay, Jamie, Jim, Jim, Jamie, Jim, Jamie. Okay, Jamie. enter time. Everyone uh, else set? Yeah, that was fun. Ready to go. Okay, what I'll do is I'll give the answers, but I'll, I'll post the answers in chat afterwards as one group. It's easier. Sure. Okay. Oh, all of what time? Okay, all right. Yep, so number one, I Love to Eat was America's first um, network TV cooking show in 1946, hosted by whom? And the answer is James Beard. Oh, no way. Oh, we okay. got that right. <laughs> no, we just had a guess that, room. but then I thought, no, James that's side. too... Too James Beard. Yeah. Our team, our team, and that, that goes with our group. Our team name is the Beards, and we yeah. put James Beard. I thought they were just making it up. <laughs> I never yeah, heard of him. That's good. But James Beard, he there's an international James Beard Award, and um, chefs from around the world they compete, and, and the biggest honor is to get the James Beard Award. Yep. Never heard number of number two. Yep, number two, the French Chef featuring Julia Child was filmed um, in the PBS studios of what city? And for me, it was obvious that the answer is Boston, WHBH in Boston. Yeah, we got that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yay, cool. GBH. 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 You know what it stands for, Jamie? No, no, what does it stand for? Great Hill. I'm sorry. Great Blue Hill. Great Blue Hill. Oh, I didn't know that. Because of the Blue Hills. I just found out tonight. <laughs> yeah, because oh. I asked. Uh, um, so actually, you. we... Um, we, we used to live very close to Julia Child. We, um, years ago, in the 80s, we lived in Santa Barbara, California. And Julia Child, when she retired from the show, she moved to Montecito, which is right next to us. So very close to our house was Julia Child's house. Hmm. Her and um, Burl Ives and John Travolta, they all lived on the same street. They played oh, nude no. poker together, right? Yeah. <laughs> or, or listen to uh, folk songs. Yeah. 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 Number three, from 1996 to 2000, Julia Child used over 750 pounds of which ingredient? And the answer is butter. Yeah, <laughs> Everything goes sure. better with butter. My team guessed right. Good job, team. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number four, the, number four, the uh, famous um, Saturday Night Live skit with um, Dan Aykroyd. Um, someone posted the the video. Do you want to watch? Can is it possible to show the video? Watch, sure. Why don't we share How the video? It? We'll all watch it. It's, okay. uh, I think, like Probably a minute. Five minutes. Definitely want to stop recording if you do. Okay, here okay. we go. I will, I, do will, I will do it. She's seen that. <laughs> yeah. I I'm pretty I sure I saw that live. Yeah. 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 I, remember live. I remember it now. So the chicken got delivered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> delivered, yeah, right, right. Delivered. Right, right. uh, <laughs> follow it up with the Bassomatic. Oh, my yeah. gosh. The amazing okay. Bassomatic 76. Yep. Okay, yep. so. Continue. Um, yeah, number so cut off your finger or something. Cut off your finger. Yeah. Number five, um, Graham Kerr was a very famous chef um, from 1968 to 1973, and he always sipped a glass of wine during the show. He was known as the Galloping Gourmet. Yes. But the yeah. joke was, Graham Kerr was actually, he um, never drank alcohol. He was a teetotaler. And what he would do is he would drink wine to tell the um, TV station to start a commercial. And then before they went back to the uh, live filming, we would pick up the, um, the wine again, pretending to drink. So everyone thought the guy was an alcoholic, but in reality, <laughs> it was just for him signaling the oh, TV station. Oh, interesting. Oh, more trivia, oh, now great. we're learning. And I always thought he died from alcoholism. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, just, it's a rumor from the, from the TV show. One of uh, the number and, I, and I, we, we, one we had a question. Do you know where that was filmed? Grand Care? I don't know. It was in Ottawa. It was in Ottawa, Ottawa, I thought. Yeah. Oh, it's Canadian. Yeah, it was a Canadian show. Who's British? Yeah. Who's British? Yeah. <laughs> we watched them every day. Uh, number six, the Jeff Smith famous TV show was called The Frugal Gourmet. That's Frugal. Right. Yes. 
I knew as soon as somebody said it, we'd, we'd know it. Yeah. Uh, number seven. Um, I don't know how many of you watched the original Japanese Iron Chef, but it started, the whole trend of competing shows was the Iron Chef at the uh, Tokyo Fuji Studios. And on a vacation, we actually went to Tokyo to watch the filming at Fuji. So mm -hmm. it was a very famous show. Um, it had four cuisines, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, and French. And the Iron Chef Japanese was Masaharo Morimoto. Yes. Morimoto, who's very famous. <laughs> And actually, um, when Iron Chef went off the air, they produced a new show, um, Iron Chef USA, and the host Shatner. was William, William Shatner. And it was like the worst show. It was an embarrassing. <laughs> you you could have stopped as soon as you said Sh Shatner. <laughs> it, it sucked. And I think they, they filmed only like two episodes and went off the air. There were too many complaints. It, it was a terribly done show. Yep. I, uh, want number, I want to see that. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> Uh, number eight, um, so Morimoto, he became the head chef at a, a world famous New York City Japanese restaurant where uh, when we last time went to New York, we tried to make reservations and it, they said, no, you have to wait two months for reservations. And the uh, restaurant is called Nobu. Ah, what a yes. guess. Oh, yeah. No, it's what? Not, it's not Morimoto's? Nope. Nobu, <laughs> yeah. Nobu. Nomu? And, and, and no what does that no word mean in Japanese? I don't know. And long <laughs> wait for a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> and don't cry <laughs> about it. No boo. No boo. It's, yeah, it's no called boo. go to Denny's because you're not going to get in anywhere else. No boo. Yeah. Yeah. It's impossible. No boo. Do uh, not get the enough. sushi at Denny's. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> number nine. Um, Master Chef. When we travel around the world, it's, it's amazing how many countries have Master Chef. And they're not the British version, the American version. They're all locally produced with their local stories, the local languages. Um, when we're in India and Sri Lanka, Singapore, everywhere you see posters of their local master chefs. So master chef um, won the Guinness World Record by being locally adapted how many countries? And the answer is 52. Oh, wow, we were a little bit, we were a little high. Our initial guess was a little high, yeah. 50 and we changed so, um, it. Yeah, so anywhere from 47 to 57 is the answer. I'm sorry. So we'll hold uh, you. Number, we'll, we'll hold you to it, Kevin. Yep. yep. My mistake. I talked around a 50. I said it had to be more. So, <laughs> number 10. Um, Hell's Kitchen actually is very, very um, famous here. So, but if you watch the same episodes of Hell's Kitchen in different countries, the USA is unique as compared to all of the shows. And the reason why um, is that like Gordon Ramsay curses all the time. And in America, they edit out the curses. But no, they don't, don't. edit the curses in any other country, only in America. <laughs> well, we've got that right. We got it. You say they edit, okay. Are you saying they edit them out in the U.S. or they don't? They do. They do. They, they in do. America, they edit, edit out the, the profanity. I've been watching all the first 16 episodes. They're full of profanity. And it's not what? What? on cable, I bet. It's not probably regular TV. Yeah. Oh, oh you're yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's it's on yeah Hulu. So oh yeah, can we can we use the answer censoring? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay, yep. okay, good. So on, on the average, Benjamin. yeah. So Gordon Ramsay, um, he says the F word on the average of thirty times per episode. <laughs> Give you an idea. It's a stupid show. Do you have the standard Quite deviation it. on that? <laughs> <laughs> Plus minus two. <laughs> Shite in German or. It's a it's a terrible show. I, we we watch it, but it's because it's in English. But yeah. Uh, and number eleven, uh, when Gordon Ramsay yelled at competing chefs, what is his favorite insult? And he always says, "My grandmother could have done better, and she's dead." Yes, nice. got, got it. it. Nice. So, uh, so say, Susan, that was great. So if you say like mother or grandmother, that's okay. We said I said mom, uh, my mother could do better, and then they said, "Oh, but his mom's on the show." And they said, well, we'll change it to grandmother. <laughs> we did it. Okay. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and I've never seen the show before. That was excellent category. Very good. Good job, Jamie. Good. good job, Jamie. Okay. So let's go over to our score. So here's where I get to ask the hard questions now. The difficult. Let's see how we did. So they I'm going to start from the bottom. Two Americans plus two Canadians equals five great ones. What's your score? Five. Okay. Tres, tres, 
<laughs> ah, tres vistes tigres. How many did you get? Ten. Ten. Ten? 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 Yes. Wow. Ten out of 11. Wow. Madison Cawthorn Memorial Team. We also got 10. Wow. That sure makes that last team look not so good, huh? Self replicating gory cupcakes. Thanks. <laughs> got eight. Eight. That's reasonable. The Hairy Face Brigade. Five. Ooh, that's the team I'm well. on. I shouldn't have, I should have said anything. <laughs> we have a bimodal distribution. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so we start now 5, 8, 10, 10, and 5, average of 7.6. Very, very good job, JB. That was an interesting category, even though I don't really know anything about that. But apparently, Susan, you needed to split up the foodies a little bit more, have a better distribution amongst <laughs> well, the let's teams. See what, let's see what uh, yeah. um, um, our, next, our next leader is, and this is going to be Janine. So let's see what she has to say. Janine, you're up. Okay. You have the calm. Um. Maybe somebody else could do the controls just because my system. So like muting and stuff. Oh, okay. You don't have to do that. Mike will do it. Okay. Oops. I might be able to switch around by myself. I'll try okay. that. Let me, not, let me know. Otherwise. I muted everyone. So Jean, you got to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Jean. Oh, okay. I welcome. Okay, so my topic is trees. I've heard of those. It was Arbor Day when I started this, plus oh. trees are among my favorite things. Um, so let me get chat and questions up here. So bear with me as I go back and forth here. Okay, question number one. Oh, I can't see it myself. Okay, the term tree is not a taxonomic term. So what single unique feature, I'm sorry, I thought I'd posted this. Okay, hit return. What single unique feature of a plant makes it a tree. Number two. Have to roll around here. Number two is how many known tree species are there in the world? Um, this is tough, so I give you plus or minus 25%. You can come in there. Okay, number three. This is multiple choice. Did it go up? Hmm. That's odd. Hit enter. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, I wonder what I hit instead of enter. There. there you According go. to a 2015 study published in Nature, how many total trees are estimated to be in the world? Oh, Lord. So, you have a multiple choice there. Number four. Yay. My computer's so slow. I don't understand. Why, when the first time I hit return, it doesn't go. In the Dr. Seuss story, what character speaks to the onceler for the trees? Mm 
Number five, these trees of Madagascar grow up to 60 feet tall and 160 feet in circumference and store thousands of gallons of water. What's the name of this tree? Number six, what is a forest community called that's so perfectly suited to its habitat that if it's left undisturbed, it will persist indefinitely? So what's that community called? Number seven, what's the state tree of Utah? The largest tree by volume is a great sequoia known as the General Sherman tree. What's its volume in cubic feet, plus or minus 20%? A lot of you are from California, so you're probably very familiar with some of these trees. Whoops. The tallest known tree is a coastal redwood named Hyperon. How tall is it? Plus or minus 50 feet. And number 10. Whoa. What's the name of the cells or vessels that transport water to the top of coastal redwoods or any other tree? So that's it. Okay, good job, Jean. We had a category in trees back in the beginning. I, I wrote it and none of these were even close. <laughs> so oh, good. I guess it's really, really nice that there's so many different questions could be asked. I think it was before I... Joined yeah, the, before you retired. Because I don't remember. Yeah, it was a yeah. long time. It was like cat, uh, game three or something. Yeah. Okay, good job, you guys. Oh, I've got a bunch of unassigned people in here. Let me, let me, for some reason it does that. Okay, let me go through the list. Avi and Alan, you're in one. Oh, it's got you alphabetized. That's very handy. Ben, you are in... How do I go from room to room? room, to room? Um, you're going to go to oh, that's one. You're breakout gonna go, rooms. You're going to go to um, oh, breakout. I see it. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to assign everybody to the rooms because it's not letting me. Hmm. Yeah, how interesting. The 15 of you guys were not assigned to any room. Five. Kyle is in four. Kyle is in. Kyle's in five. Mark is in two. Faith and Romero are in four. Four. Thank you. Robin is in five. 
Terry is in four. 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 And Vincent, you're in five. five. Yeah, alphabetized you for some reason. Hmm. Okay, good job. Comics. Oh Lord, what am I looking at? Yeah, I don't know, Jeff. What did you do? Yeah, what are we what are we looking at, Jeff? A lot <laughs> of what are you looking at? Like, like your whole <laughs> yeah. computer. My gosh, we saw all your screens. Look oh, at that. Whoops. I can okay. see chat. You got your, oh. your, your, I don't want to show that to anybody, Jeff. Your Pornhub chat or something. <laughs> there we go. Here comes Mark. Uh, that's uh, my work that's chat. But it doesn't really matter. There's nothing there. <laughs> um, uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. What is all that? So let's try. Uh, I, I don't know this stuff. I <laughs> please. I don't know this stuff. I don't know this stuff What's either. What's the feature of a plant that makes it a tree? Quiet. I, should it be the trunk? I was I, thinking the trunk because bananas yeah. are not on a tree and they look like a tree and it doesn't have a trunk, which is the one difference I could think of. I kept thinking, What's the difference between the way a banana grows and the way a tree grows? Because I yeah. know bananas are not a tree. And the Cellular vesicles might be the last question. I think it's cambium layer, but it might be cellular. Oh, vesicles. it could be the cambium layer. No, you're right. I still I don't remember how sort to spell of it, but... an idea of about what it was. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you're right. You're right. Specifically for coastal redwoods. Well, in all trees, actually, they all have that. If oh, yeah, that's true. If you girdle yeah. the tree, it'll die. The layers. It's only, yeah. You can do like a strip a quarter of an inch wide around a tree and it will kill it usually. Yep. It's also yeah. why you can why you can drill a hole in the middle of a redwood and like and drive through it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, or a lightning can hit it and just make a big hole in it. And, you know. Yeah. There's lots of those. Yeah. Other kinds of trees as well, actually. Yep. Um, okay. Oh, Max. What are we thinking? Ten thousands. How many trees? I have no idea. Species. So species. Um, Which means somebody had to go categorize it. Many species. Right. So. Ten thousand. Thirty thousand. Ten thousand seems reasonable. Ten thousand. Yeah, that sounds all right. Oh, Caspian's in this room. Yeah, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, I, well, because your your video's off, I can't really. I just only notice it when you're when you when we speak. Yeah, um, I'm how many still trying to preserve my bandwidth? Is also, it my my computer's monitor died? So oh no. Mm. Um, what? how many actual tree? Now I wonder if that means like seedlings. I mean, it probably includes seedlings. Yeah, so that's a lot because I mean. You think it's about a big number, but all of those are big numbers. Those are all big numbers, yeah. My thought would be something in the middle, but I, I was thinking no like numbers. thirty trillion or something like that. Yeah. yeah, I would say thirty or even a hundred trillion because it's yeah. really like, yeah, like when you think of how many trees there are compared to how many people there are, mm -hmm. like there are huge numbers of trees in very dense segments that, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can have a hundred trees in the in a single square foot right essentially yeah. so yeah yeah i'm fine with either one of those numbers yep me too i have no reason to okay okay for the lombacks the lum lombacks mm -hmm. okay i thought it was a it was the lombacks not the um the lombacks um, it's definitely a no. Okay. That's and one of the that's one of the few ones I felt really good about. Boobab? The Baobab. The Baobabs Baobab? are really big, but I don't remember if that's specifically the one in Madagascar. I've never heard of it. So you were well, didn't you go to Madagascar? They, no. they have a really like bulbous there. trunk and then go straight up and then have like a big tree layer. They're they're very cool trees. But I may also be thinking of one tree and naming a different one that is also local to the region. So, but Madagascar has unique everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true, too. Yeah, yeah island yeah. speciation. Um, I didn't have any idea of like, forest. I think they're called um, habitat that it's something like eternal or infinite forest. 
And I forget which one they, which term they use. I heard about a gallery forest the other day. Mm. Uh, that's I don't think that's what that is, but it's I I just heard that term for the first time the other day. Huh. I mean it could be. No, I think it's like all of the same kind or something like that. Like because I've heard of a thing where they like they they do call it like the infinite forest, but it's like that seems it seemed odd that that uh -huh. was the term, but it, I do think it had to do with its longevity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it might be eternal forest. I apologize if I'm remembering it wrong. All right, you're a step ahead of me. Right. State Trio, Utah. Debbie, you've been to Utah. <laughs> I was just in Utah and I couldn't tell you what the state tree was. Okay, Jeff. So, I went to uh, Salt Lake City and saw a whole lot of Mormon stuff. But, you know. Yep. Fun. But Utah has a lot of national parks and mountains and things. Yeah, they I think I wish I had an evergreen of some kind would be, you know, mm -hmm. more prevalent in that kind of climate and that kind of environment. I don't know. Well, most of Utah is actually the desert. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say some kind of cactus. Oh, who know. sent the locusts? I don't think they, yeah, right. <laughs> they don't have a lot. I don't think they have a lot of cactus there, but they have like, you know. They do have trees. They like, do have trees. Yeah. I think they have a lot of like cottonwood trees in the river areas, but so is everywhere hmm. else. Um, there might be some kind of oak tree. But hmm. then they have their the beginning of the Rocky Mountains on the eastern edge. Yeah. And those have all, you know, pine trees all, of all kinds. Mm -hmm. And then Bryce and Zion have like all kinds of different trees too. You know, it's mm -hmm. no idea. The question is, what would they pick? Yeah, what would they pick? That's the point here. What would <laughs> yeah. they pick? Yeah. Which is why I was thinking something that has to do with national parks or mountains. Right. Because that's what the state is known for, right? Right. But the like well the the parks that I've been in the the Bryce and Zion and then there's a couple of other ones I haven't been to but they're they're more about the rock features than right, they yeah. are about the trees and they have trees but it's not like you know Redwood National Forest or something it's just it, mm -hmm. it's not that kind of place right. or the whole rainforest or anything like that but, but the trees that they have because of the altitude just tend to be evergreen. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not all high. I mean, no, not all, but yeah. I mean, there is a, there are high areas to it, but, but hmm. Uh, and of all countries, all places in the country to pick, the only question about a state tree is this one. So it should be something very special it's, or very yeah. yeah. Why should be Utah? Funny. It's yeah. probably unique. Yeah. Hmm, that's a good point. Yeah, if it's not unique, then it's weird that it's weird that Janine picked the question. Um, and at the same time, if it's not unique, I'm okay with being wrong and choosing a unique answer. <laughs> like, I'm usually fine with any answer that feels more fun, as long as so as Janine, long as it, it, it's reasonably. We're, close. we're trying. We're getting into the psychology of why you picked Utah for question seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't need, say don't say anything. No, no, nope. I'm not saying anything about that. But yeah. a community of of in a forest is not people. It's related to the ecosystem. That came up in another group. Oh, so it's right. not have anything to do with the Mormons, huh? <laughs> that that is for number six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got that. We, yeah. we figured out that that was about a, that wasn't about people. yeah it's about the ecosystem so we're wondering about why would janine pick utah right out of wow. all of these so why would you pick utah what's wrong with janine i can say <laughs> no, one thing what's wrong i with was utah? trying very hard not to show my prejudice towards the utah? pacific northwest forests which are my passion <laughs> well yeah i mean 
So as as an as a fellow PNW resident, I I am particularly attached to the Pacific Northwest Forest for sure. Yes, thank you. Yeah. The whole rainforest. Otherwise, it could have all been about Douglas fir. Yeah. <laughs> so we know it's not Douglas fir. That's right. right. We know it's not Douglas fir. <laughs> we can eliminate okay. Douglas fir. All right. Now. Got it. Shall we shall we skip this one and come back to it? Yeah, let's give it back. The others, they're just guesses for me. So I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get some of Mark's uh yeah, pie. let's see. Uh, Thanks, Kate. Koya. I Bye think we've lost Mark. So this has got to be one of those, this has got to be one of those ones that's like 30 feet wide, you know. Um the tallest tree now coastal redwoods. This isn't the tallest, big. this is the largest. Oh, you're talking about number eight? Oh yeah. Number right. eight, yeah. Oh, okay. The volume of the oh god. It's like I, let's do the math like if yeah it's, let's do it just by math because yeah like if it's a 30 foot wide tree right easily Cause, yeah because some of them are that big yeah and okay like so 30 squared is 90 and then you no, 30, about, squared, like, is, 30 is squared is like 900 or 900 sorry 900 sorry <laughs> i Mr. Zero. So 900 and then how That's tall is it? And, you know, like, and how tapered is it? Yeah. Like, I think you get into the ballpark of, you know, like estimate that maybe a third of its height probably is a rough estimate of a cube that might take up similar volume or, or, or maybe a little bit less than that. And like that comes out to like, because they can get really tall, right? Yeah, but I mean, the, well, the, get... the giant hey, sequoias... You guys haven't made a decision? The giant, sequoias, the giant sequoias don't get as tall as the other, as the regular, or the other. Oh, regular. that's true. They're taller, but not as big around. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So what, like 50 feet? Oh, no, they're way more, they're way more than 50 feet. But... Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, it's, they're like 100 feet tall. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what, like, so do some math. 50,000 cubic feet. How much? 50,000 50, cubic feet. Cause we have 900 cubic, like, like, Fair, area. Kind of, yeah. and then like, if we took just half what we think the height is or a third of what we think the height is at 50 feet, that's like 50,000 cubic feet. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know. I think it's more. You think it's more? Mm -hmm. Oh, 50. I have a question. When you have a lot the more volume more. of a tree, yeah. a large part of that volume is air between the branches, right? So does that no, count? No, no, we're just like, talking about the wood. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it. Just, if you're just talking just, about the wood, then. Yeah. yeah. And mainly the wood is in the trunk. The I mean, yeah, there's some, and actually some of the branches but, are. But if you're this is basically if you were to hollow high, out, you're you were to haul it out on the inside and fill it with water, how much water would it take? Yeah. And you're and so when you're counting, if you're looking at the volume based on the width and the height, then you're counting the air because no. a lot of that is air between. Well, the air idea is the idea no. is just doing a rough estimation because we don't think we're gonna get that close. Like no, right. we don't we don't think there's any other way to get that close if we're unless we're willing to do the equation for the volume of a well, cone. I guess what I'm saying really is want you've to. got the you're doing the equation. Yeah. And you're getting a number, and then I think we need to decrease it by some amount for the air. That well, I don't, Gail. I don't understand the air that you're talking about. We're not counting any of the air. If you're taking the width of the tree and the height, oh, yeah, yeah. Of the tree, no, no, I, I the width of the actual Gail. base of the tree, like the the, the yeah. biggest no, the side what, of the trunk at the ground level. Like so, we are accounting for that, Gail. We're we're cutting the height of the tree into a third. We're cutting it oh, down okay. by two thirds in okay. order to say that all of that is sort of like you know, that part of that, the top part of the tree would fill in a lot of the holes in the bottom part. Yeah. That yeah, would, yeah, that okay. would give us something. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, so that. we were saying like, if it's fit, if it's 150 feet tall and 30 feet wide, and we fill in the, and we fill in those gaps, we start getting into neighbors of like 500 or 50,000 square feet or 50,000 cubic feet, which is pretty ginormous, but also they like, I don't know how big the biggest ones are. So go, go like, ahead. I'll have to trust on your judgment. What, what do you think, Deborah? You you have more experience with, well, with this I've tree, I think. Them, but I, I didn't I didn't try to 
figure out how much volume they had. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, like, I have, I, I have only seen them on TV. I haven't actually. So, seen them. like, okay, so the one at where we went, went to Calaveras was one that they cut down like a long time ago, and it was, I don't know, the, 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 the bay the, where they cut it off was a few feet above the ground. It was big enough for that they made it into a dance floor, just bottom of it's you know it's like the size of my living room <laughs> oh wow so they're really and i don't know about the general sherman tree it's it's probably the biggest one that's still it left it, it says it's the biggest one. yeah but there might have been bigger ones that, that they cut yeah. down it might be the time. largest living tree the largest one that's left but still it's really big i mean you can drive cars through these things i mean they're yeah they're, they're huge so and then of course they do taper and you know it, they don't stay that big around all the way up, of course, but they're pretty darn big. So um, would you say a hundred thousand cubic feet and call it good? I'm, I'm thinking more like around seventy. Okay, but I'm not. You know, you're doing the math. I'm not. No, doing I, I think seventy is perfectly reason. Like as I said, fifty was based off of a lot of rough guesses, and yeah, if, if that seems a little on the small side, then let's do seventy thousand. Sounds fine. Right. Like honestly, I. We'll be lucky if we're close. I know, uh, right? Watch yeah. it be either twenty or a hundred or something. Yeah. Well, watch, watch. Um, it's going to be like, oh, well, it's actually eighty-five thousand, and you missed it by this much. Yeah, I don't think that's. And you're just like, no. So I didn't know that they named any of the redwood trees. So I don't know where that. Yeah, one would be. They, I mean that happens for the biggest things usually. Yeah, it's probably further north. I mean, we have redwood trees in Big Sur, but they're not that big um so i don't know that's it's going to be somewhere where there's a lot of water probably <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah i mean it is a coastal redwood that makes sense yeah but and they, how they, tall yeah I how know. tall is the tallest that you're aware of yeah i don't even i don't know it's I know I've heard of them being as tall as like 250 square, like 250 feet. Yeah, that's probably, that sounds good. 250. That's like in the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think any of the ones here are that tall. Um, yeah. Let's say 275 just to give us a little wiggle room. On that the sounds top. good. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, no, 275, 275. Okay. And yeah, cambium layer makes sense. So we're back to the Oregon, uh, Utah tree. Not Utah tree. Okay, so what's what's state tree of Utah? Saguaro cactus. <laughs> I don't um, think they have any. They cactus. don't even go there. They don't grow. Uh, they have there. cactuses. I'm no cacti. In, well, they probably have some somewhere. Oh, did he say Land cactus? That's what I said. Saguaro was strictly. Uh, I think I think if it was Arizona or New Mexico, maybe, but. I, Saguaro aren't even in New Mexico. They're only in Arizona. Those aren't really. Oh, okay. Replanted them in other places. We have some in Las Vegas, but they're not native here. Juniper. Yeah, I know. I knew they're that. Only much. native in, I just wasn't in sure. southern Southern Arizona, not even in northern Arizona. Hmm. Wow. I don't know. A, a very um, important. Yeah, what did you see when you were in Arizona? Man, it's funny that it's like it only occurs in southern Arizona, and yet it was so common in Looney Tunes. It's so common in artwork. Yeah. Well, it's like the symbol of the Southwest, but it is not. Oh. Saguaro cactus. It's in south, Southern Arizona, in the Tucson area, it's all over the place. But yeah. they're very carefully protected because they don't grow anywhere else. Mm. And it takes hundreds of years to get to the kind that you saw in Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. I mean, what, what tree is that, yeah. Gail? The uh, saguaro cactus. Oh, saguaro cactus, yeah. That's so there are right. definitely none in Utah. Okay, so we're, we've got suggestions of pinion pine. Um, and uh, what was the other one you said? Juniper. Oh, juniper. Oh, yeah. I don't sure. know where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking some kind of oak or a cottonwood tree. I um, can't quite imagine the cottonwood, personally. Well, like when we were there, they were, that Good. crap was blowing all over us. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do blow all over, but they, they're... <laughs> Common all over the yeah, northern they're Arizona. all over where I live too. I mean, you know, there's different varieties, but yeah, you know, we have one in our yard in Michigan. Go yeah. crazy, made such they're a mess. Just, they're messy, yeah. But um, I, I, I kind of like the idea of a pine tree. Okay, personally, I do pine? Any particular? I don't know. Pine? I don't know one pine from another, so <laughs> opinion pine is fine. 
All right. <laughs> it's a Northern farm. pine, western pine, bristle cone pine. <laughs> <laughs> Those are way up the on the western bristle cone pine. <laughs> uh, bristle cone no. is probably a possibility because I don't know how far it goes, but Utah is right near Nevada, and bristle yeah. cone pines are very common in Nevada. I think they have them in Arizona too. Yeah, they're pretty common. Just there's the kind that that how they do the pine nuts. I think those are pinions. Yeah, that that the natives use for for the pine nuts because they're like bigger or something. Mm. Okay, I guess we've got answers. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have all of the blanks filled in. That's, that's definitely <laughs> a start. answers. I didn't get the right answers. Sorry, answer. guys. Oh, yeah. No idea. That worked okay. last time pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. At least I didn't talk anybody in of, out of anything. We won't yeah. beat Carl, sure. probably, but, you know. Carl's going to have to fill us something someday here. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, our our never-ending challenge is to come up with a category that he doesn't know the answers for. We keep saying menstrual cycles or something. <laughs> Feminine <laughs> products. Who oh. probably knows it? Mm. All right. All right. I'm leaving. Okay. We'll see yeah. you over there. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's go. Hi, Susan. I was muted. Hi there, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, I haven't asked Preva about uh, going down on the on on the Memorial Day. Probably, I, I'm thinking more of a, on the Sunday. Right. Because yeah, I mean, it's all party weekend for me. I don't care. But right, I'm I'm flying out on Tuesday, so Mon uh, Sunday's better than Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious about the answer to that museum question. Janine and I have been talking about it today. Because if if it happens, if it passes, then we'll be able to give the Jerry Anders collection to them. They said that they take it. Cool. I was watching an episode of the uh, Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and they had this guy on who was showing the spinning wheel. And he said, this was invented by Jerry Andrews, the magician. Oh, you saw that? Where was it? Yeah, it was on the Tonight Show, an old episode from the 80s. Oh, wow. It's 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 on one of the you know the Johnny Carson network shows. Mm -hmm. I believe Is that it was the a trizonal spinner, the big black yeah. and white. Yeah, yes, yes, the three zones. Yeah, right. you yeah. Spun it and you talked about. Yeah, that it. was the specific version of that that was invented by Andres. Yeah, mm -hmm. and God, that messes with your eyes. Yeah, the guy's yeah. name I think was the guy who did it was Scott Morris. I think. Oh yeah, he's on. the guy from Omni Magazine. Yes, that's the guy. He was the he guest. On class. Oh, I can't believe I know that. Why can't anybody ask me any trivia questions like that? That I know. <laughs> Scott Morris. And his name I, is I only watched the episode. S C O T, I, not yes. two T's. I watched the episode because of not the other T's. guests. And I just was surprised how good the next guest was. Like, oh, I'll watch it. So I watched the whole thing. It was either I watched it because it was either George Collin or or, or um David Letterman or, or, or Roddy Dangerfield was the guest. I was watching those episodes. Hmm. Those are fun. Janine, yeah, because I like that? those guys. Where's Janine? There you are. Janine, did you hear that? I don't know if you were in the room. Kevin was saying that he's watching the old Johnny Carson show. And they, uh, uh, Scott Morris, the guy who did the Omni article on Jerry Andrus, had brought out a trizonal uh, warp thing and uh, said, this is invented by... Um, Magician Jerry, Jerry Andrews. Andrews. Magician Jerry Andrews. What was it on? Johnny oh, Carson. Johnny, 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 Carson. Old Johnny Carson show. Oh, Johnny. Very cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. If Scott, I can find a Scott link to Morris, it, I'll post it. Just Scott please. Morris came to Jerry's memorial and brought just a whole stack of science puzzling toys. Oh, is that right? Oh, oh. my gosh. We had so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> yeah, he was... Um, he was uh, quite interesting. I saw lots of pictures of him with the the impossible box he came and visited. Did he live nearby or something? No, Scott I don't Morris. Think so. Oh. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, y'all. What okay. do you got, Jeannie? Let's see. Okay, how, how it's we did. back and forth again with answers. So I'm gonna going to 
put them in. So number one, I heard a lot of discussion about this. Um, see if I can get this to post. Oh, okay. I'll copy less in. So a tree is a plant species and there's so much diversity among them that a lot of stuff that, you know, like rings and stuff maybe aren't necessarily there, but a tree is just a plant that has independently evolved a trunk so as to get above the other plants to compete for sunlight. Oh, in interesting. Yeah. So okay. it, it's for, okay, so it's a trunk. So okay, I would it's say- it's, So my witty stem was closer than bark. <laughs> so trunk yeah, bark, bark would answer. not be so, but trunk- Or rings. Or rings Ice. are not, yeah. Not it's, rings. Would, um, not rings. Uh, would, uh, but, is bamboo, is that considered both grass and a tree? No. Bamboo's not I think a tree. It's, bamboo is not a tree. But How but it things? but it is it satisfies its definition, doesn't it? No, it has it, it has fiber, but I don't think that it's. It's one of those things where it's all fuzzy at the edges anyway. Yes. Okay. Like, yes, that like, is very true. Yeah, it is like, fuzzy like at the edges. Bamboo edge. forests and bamboo is. But a tree by some definitions and also not really a tree by a lot of others. So yeah, because it's hard. It's all messy. Yeah, and yeah I'm considering guessing considering it's not taxonomic and not by genetic relationship. And yeah, so do but, but at the same time it's 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 weird. So you know, the answer trees, is trunk. Right. Because are there some trees that don't have rings too? Is that another well, I don't yeah. that's I, the thing I, that we were debating. If, can you, are you the rings are you, come from the uh, growing conditions varying through the year? So, if but not uh, every, I don't think every tree has. Well, yeah. When you say yeah. palm tree, are you, are you including yeah. a palm so, uh, tree? In yeah. It? So, a tree that, so, a tree growing in continuously warm and wet conditions isn't going to get rings. No, I think it's the nature of the of the wood and how the tree grows as to whether it produces rings or not. So are yeah. elephants trees? So. <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> Very no, good you're, you're question. Of <laughs> Think of giraffes. So, uh, my, my, above to get the sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> yes. my, my argument within my group was that, well, aren't tulips then trees? If they're just, you know, there's they don't a have stalk and there's a flower. It's definitely right. not. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I, okay. I know, number I... two <laughs> is how many known tree species are there in the world, which was, I found very interesting oh, because um, hmm. there was a global tree survey that was published in 2017 and it found 60,000. Wow. 65. Oh. So I'm rounding it off to 60,000 because this is changing as new uh, species are discovered. So if you are in the range of 45,000 to 75,000, I'll accept that as, as within that 25%. So, and then the link here is a Scientific American article talking about um, how many unknown uh, tree species are um, estimated to exist, which I found um, interesting. So number three. Um, number three is, ooh, whoops. Um, copy. So how many total trees are there in the world? Um, that is B. Oh, wow. Um, three trillion. And that's based on um, a, a research published in 2015 in Nature magazine. So there's a- Well, are there more wheels, doors, or trees? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. Somebody, somebody was talking about how. Uh, I think Karen said there's like 
three trees per person or something. That, that was faith. Ten, that ten was faith. Trees? Faith. Okay. Said so ten trees maybe per person. I'd never heard that. So. Well, it's three so trillion. It's certainly more than that. Yep. Right. But I was just saying that was my logic on why I was thinking. It was a small and, and depends on how you count a tree. Is a sapling a tree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Technically. Yeah. And, anyway, and that number's changing all the time too. And Three and then and if you're and, um and you're if you're on the uh, Supreme Court, then all the seeds are also trees. <laughs> <laughs> the pollen too. Too Only if they are impregnated. <laughs> okay, number four is the Lorax. Right. That's okay. what I thought. Yeah. Oh, yep. we finally got oh. one right. We got that one. Yeah. Okay. I think a lot of people got the Lorax and a lot of people got number five, puppy paste. So this one is the baobab tree. Oh, okay. And I don't think you have to get the spelling correct. I, <laughs> I saw some, some misspellings, but some I create, we call it creative spelling, Janine, not misspelling. Well, Creative. They were pronouncing it correctly and then spelling it like I would spell something. Yeah. What, what did, uh, ben, what did we write it down? Is creative spelling like creative accounting? No. No. We have be arrested for, for number five. With, with, with fewer, with fewer um, legal ramifications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless oh, you're in God. journalism. Well, then definitely fewer legal ramifications. Okay, number six, the a forest community. Um, this is the definition of a climax community. Climax, dang it, I need that. Yeah, okay. and I'm sorry, I'm noticing that my numbers, I'm not copying. Yeah. That's okay. Numbers is I don't climax think the numbers four is close enough? Yeah, that no, looks, that's fine. Is what? Is climax, climax forest close enough to what you meant? Yes, yes, okay. if you have climax in there, that's, that's, uh, so cool. the state tree of Utah, uh, you discussed why I chose that one. And I chose that one because I remember <laughs> driving through Utah and seeing so many of these that I thought that it would be something that people would remember seeing a lot of. And clearly that wasn't the case. <sighs> um, it's the quaking aspirin. Oh my gosh. Aspen. Yeah. The uh, oh, populist Did we have that before? I feel like we had that question before. I don't remember it. Vaguely Maybe. familiar, but did we do the state? Did we do the uh, category Utah. of the uh, state of Utah? Utah? Maybe. If we did, that might have been if, in there. If only there was a list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that requires me changing my screen. Okay, I can do that. Oh, I'm on the, I don't have to change my screen. I'm on it. Q -U -A -Q -A. So, um, the uh, General Sherwood Sherman tree. I gave you a lot of range here. Uh, oh. 20%. So. That That's not a lot of range. <laughs> it's not a lot of range, you don't think? No. <laughs> It's not enough range. <laughs> we, no, we have not had the cat. We have not had a Utah or or that tree. I don't think. Can oh, we get no. a bonus point if we're in twenty five hundred? Oh God, we were way off. We got the last three. We got the last three digits right. We were close. No, no, but we knew how right. tall. We knew how tall it was, and then so and then someone else guessed how what the diameter might. Be, you know what the how many cars was. could drive through it. <laughs> what was the answer? Oh no, this was forty-two to. Oh, oh, the, oh, the actual number is is fifty-two thousand five hundred cubic feet. Uh, oh, okay, we were short. With forty-two <laughs> to get it. Yeah. We okay. talked ourselves out of the the right answer. Yeah, uh, now we did. We we're like, yeah. oh, that never happens. That they never didn't that. help. I just listened and you guys talked to yourself out of yeah. it. Okay. I thought with all the Californians that this is these were trees you might be familiar with. So um, if you live near uh, Sequoia National Park, maybe. Uh, we went 
through it after Psycon recently. So, okay, they were talking, nine, but they were talking all, about General Sherman and uh, others because they protected them during the recent fires, right? They were, yeah, but they didn't, uh, yeah. but they didn't oh. mention the volume of the trade. They didn't right. mention, no. That's true. <laughs> The they volume should. it goes up to eleven. <laughs> so, um, so for the coastal redwoods, um, that tree, I I think they Ooh. keep identifying uh, different. But I remember being up there hiking into what at the time was identified as the tallest tree, and it was in that range. So. That's why I gave you, you know, uh, a, a range there, but maybe, maybe uh, 50 feet <laughs> is, is a tough one. It, it, it was a decent buffer and we missed it. Oh, <laughs> it, was, but it was fair. When, That's a fair when we When we drove through um, that area, uh, they kept saying that the trees are around 400 feet tall, so... Oh, I should. Oh, oh my God, go. that's great. No, but that's good. Yeah. 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 So, okay. And 10, um, the cells or that turn into vessels that transport water up to a top of the tree is the xylem. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Is that yeah, trying, to, trying to decide if it was xylem or phloem was the hard part? Is, is yeah. it? Phloem that transports carbon. Yeah. Nutrients yeah. around. Janine, Janine, is, is xylem a type of capillary? Yes. So so if we said capillary, is that all right? No, that's not the because No, because I ones. asked specifically for the cells of the vessels. I really wanted to ask a question that talked about capillary action because it's really interesting how water gets all the way up a tree. And it's through capillary action, but I couldn't generate a question that would, yeah, would that be good. clear that that I was looking for capillary action. Yeah. Well, good so, job. Janine. I would like to give it, but fun questions people were really engaged uh, in in figuring out, especially if you add a little math in there. So, um. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, Kevin, for giving us that for um, the link for jo Johnny Carson. So let's do our scores. I will screen share because I know this is like your most exciting part of the night is to, to look at the scores and see how you're doing because we're just a tiny bit competitive, even though of the week, night it's of the week. Oh yeah, that's true. Of the week is the scoring because you're all competitive, even though each night, each week you play on different teams. So here. <laughs> <laughs> we're really good at just that one week focusing on that team players. Okay, so let's go with um, the Harry Face Brigade. One. <laughs> one. You won the, you are All good. right. Two Americans one. plus two Canadians equals five great ones. Four. Well, okay. Self-replicating gory cupcakes, which is the team Janine was on. Two. Oh, Janine. Oh, oh. a three way okay. tie for first. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Five. Tres to be stays. Tigres. Seven. Oh, my God. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Boo. Oh, Carl was on your team. Did Carl know this stuff? No, we, we actually talked we also got seven. logically. If we had listened to Carl, we would have gotten eight. We also yeah. got seven. And yeah, wow. Madison call for in seven. Seven. Wow. wow. How is that? Dave. Because Leonard knew a lot more of them than I did. I got the Lorax. <clears throat> well, well let's right. do um let's do a picture and a song, and then we'll do a five-minute break. Is that all right with everybody? Yeah. So everybody get over here nice and smile. Look, look at your best. Let me get my screen on. Okay, everybody ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready everybody, one, two, three. Okay, let's make sure I have it before anybody goes away. I think. What happened to your sprout, Avi? 
It's right here. <laughs> oh, his spot's there. Okay. Oh, no, I see it. Just You're just there. tiny. It turned into a tree, so it had to be It's distant. Yeah, it's transplanted. It's distant. There we go. It's, it's easier to see on a black background. Okay, hold on. Social. Taking a break or announcements? What are we doing? Uh, we're going to do song. Oh, that's right. Uh, I want to make sure oh, everybody no. gets in there. So now, <laughs> as, as we all know, how we do jump. our song is we make sure that we, you guys, you know, because I'm open to all these things, you get to do whatever cadence makes you happy <sighs> and you feel inspired with to I'm do. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah. We have Advanced. nothing against you. May so, Mark. You're you're muted, Mark. <laughs> Mark, you're muted. Yeah, so make sure everybody's it's, unmuted for the stuff part. Sure. For his, uh, I will give you. I will give you the start. So here make we go. Make it as crazy as you can. Yeah, it's recorded. That'll be easy. Better. I put on a little birthday hat, but it looks like a piece of pizza. No. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Is there pineapple on it? Okay. All right. Yeah, Here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Begin. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was amazing. You guys never <laughs> cease to amaze me. That's great. I'm going to check it out. We have no pride in it. Happy birthday, Marky. Happy birthday, Marky. Okay, so five minutes. Anybody want to hear a tree joke? Uh, I'm yeah. going to hear a tree joke. Uh, you're going to leave? You're going to make like a tree and leave? No, I'm going to tell a tree joke. It sounds like it. a dirty joke, but it's not dirty at all. I'll make it okay. quick while you're, while you're okay. doing it. There's two trees growing in the woods. One, yeah. one is a birch tree, one is a beech tree. And in between the two trees, there's a little twig starting to grow up out of the ground, a small tree. So the birch tree says, hey, I'm very proud of my son. And the beech tree says, that's not your son, that's my son. So they get in an argument over who is the father of the tree in between them. So a little woodpecker flies over and they talk to the woodpecker and they say, would you go down and tell us if that's a birch tree or a beech tree? So the little woodpecker goes down and takes a little peck of the tree and he comes back and says, this is why it's a dirty joke, but it's not a dirty joke. He says, that is not a son of a birch or a son of a beech, but the sweetest, the sweetest piece of ash I've ever sunk my pecker into. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And I want to let you know that Mike Wolf had to leave. He just was. He just had to call it a night. He was having a. He needed to rest. So Mike is gone. I know. As I'm concerned, it's a night too. Good night. Night, Jim. <laughs> Dear Jim. Carl, you're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy, Carl. Oh, you're getting sleepy. You will forget everything you know. <laughs> and you'll still beat us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I had chicken wings tonight, and I have a hard time not to eat all of them. I have a recipe if anyone's interested in that. You know, salt and pepper and chicken mix. So. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Uh, Never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> that's a new one. Uh, that's a, yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? Colonel Sanders was on her side. Puppy. Here's a little puppy. You've got pieces of, of treats all over the floor. Here. You've got treats. 
Did you bring enough treats for everyone, Wendy? You want a bag and strip with cheese? Uh, no. <laughs> That's, I'm giving, I'm trying to give a treat to Jackie. But, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> That's what I had for supper, bacon, bacon wrapped in uh, toast. But that sounds good. Dutch crunch. Mm -hmm. Dutch crunch. That is very good. Safeway makes yeah. that up here. So I had oh, that. Oh, it's a, oh, because I was thinking it's like a BLT. Oh, no, I didn't have anything with it. Just the bacon, just the bacon and bread. It's very simple. At Tam, they used to have, um, uh, Penn Gillette used to have a, a party bacon, with- Bacon and donut bacon. party? Rock and roll, yeah, bacon, the and, bacon donut. and donuts party. Yeah. It's like decadence. We'd have to- Bacon and donuts. <laughs> We're back. The, the bacon at, at one of those bacon and donuts parties was the first time I had ever eaten bacon. Isn't that funny? Wow. Not funny, but I mean, it was interesting. All right, we're back. Everybody here? That's a good story. It is a very great way to lose your, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> your, co your kosher cred. There's a whole story. Um, do you know, I can't remember his name now. There was a friend of, of Penn's and Heather and all those guys that- DJ uh, Kramer? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That would his, his story is amazing. Yeah. That was hey. a, that was really good. Are we back? My cat's even back. So Mark really appreciates the song. He wants to, he can't wait to listen to it back. Remember, we are recording. I have a whole series of videos. For some very strange reason, even though uh Rob signed in with my account and everything, all the videos that he had, and he didn't change any settings. They're all on speaker view. So like the person who's speaking comes forward, not gallery view, like the ones I record. I don't know why, but all of them are like that. Strange. Here we go. Rob chose that setting, that's why. No, he didn't change any settings. Oh. It's just the way it has. Now I had a little piece of paper. Where'd it go? With things written on it. Kyle, how about you start us off? All right. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I interview a researcher who studied uh, the gig economy, essentially. this uh, It's been around for a while, but has grown in recent popularity where people are doing jobs online and uh, trying to determine if that is a good or a bad thing for a lot of the workers involved. So that's the research we got into this oh. week on Data Skeptic. I guess it varies depending on which industry we're talking about then, huh? Indeed it does. Yeah, we get into the polarizing trends of the whole thing. There's been some good and bad that have come out. Right. Things have been exposed as being good or bad. Oh, yeah, it's been a very interesting. And I traveled, and it really shows a lot of different kinds of um, rules I wasn't really used to. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, Mick West, I wanted to mention, is was on CNN last night with the oh, yeah. world of um, UFOs coming out. It's Yay, great to see people getting some course, getting publicity. Mark Mark teases me because the first time I heard that Mick West was on TV, I, I yelled, Mark, Mick West is on CNN. And so Mark teases me about it all the time. And I, as I tell him, when somebody like Mick West is on, on CNN, we're all on CNN. You know, it's kind of like our whole community is represented. And I, I love the fact that somebody's getting this um, attention. Another person who's going to be speaking at TAM, I think. A matter I'm, of TAM. I'm sorry, it's Siphon. Sorry. Nick is, uh, Nick is one of my heroes. Oh, yeah. I just, I want to grow up to be like Mick. <laughs> and you could be. But you want to be Mick when so. you grow up? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Joseph, what's his name? Joseph, who just did a Yusinski. thing. Yusinski? Say it again? Joseph Yusinski? Yeah, he was just on, what was CBS News Hour. CBS News out. Yeah. So it's CBS, really great. To, it's really great to see people who are our speakers at the different conferences and represent our, com our community. Yeah. And you know why I remember 
this, Carl? Say why why we know we remember that. Uh, because they used my photo of him in their broadcast. Yeah, he took a picture for uh, when he was at Psycon, and Carl has this eye that he tries to get the logo of Psycon in the background or somewhere in the picture and gets a really nice looking photo so that whenever it's used on Wikipedia or the news hour, like it did, or in the media, they're showing our conference. So that's kind of really, really cool. So it's it's very clever. Yay. And very excellent photo. And I'm going to mention upcoming very soon for, for quite a bargain. I think it's three days. We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have Skepticon coming up. This is the Bay Area, Sacramento area, Monterey County skeptics that are all kind of co-hosting this. It's called Science Sees Farther. And we've got some fantastic speakers. Um, I will be running trivia. So I, I assume you guys oh, are there. I know. It's going to be Saturday night. <laughs> and we're going to be having uh, all kinds of other stuff, Skepper D and some other kind of fun things. But we've got some cool speakers. I put the link in the in the chat here. I hope you guys all check that out. It's virtual. And so if you want to, if you can't attend necessarily, which we're going to have like Zoom breakouts and stuff like that, if you can't attend, oh, here's the picture. See? See how he puts that in the background? <laughs> it's very good. PBS News Hour. So Skepticon is coming, SkepticalCon, that's coming up in July. I want to make sure you guys know about that. The other thing that I want to mention is SciCon will be coming up in October. I'll be talking about that a lot more as we go along. And SciCon is the biggest conference that we have, and that's going to be in October, third week of October. It's it's in person, and I'm going to highly encourage everybody to go to that. The other thing I want to mention is Science Friction, Brian Denning show that's coming out, that's just came out. It's um, about how experts, especially in the science field, are on TV and they're altered. They're, um, what they say isn't exactly what they meant. The, a lot of TV shows alter it. So it's a very interesting show. You can find it on Amazon, Tim Amazon uh, Prime. And on Tubi, and but what Tubi. was happening was that Brian was explaining on social media and Emory that um, the, the way that, that Amazon and Tubi were um, putting the name of the video, uh, the name of the, of the movie on their list, it, it wasn't showing up. Like if you, on Tubi, if you spelled out um, just part of the name, it would go to the link so that you could watch the video, watch the movie. But if you spelled it out, science friction, it would just disappear. On Amazon, there when they first posted the uh, um, this the uh, uh, on this the um, update, the status update. There were a lot of people saying they had connections to Amazon Prime and they were going to try to help Brian and Emery get that um, get that fixed. And this morning I was able to, to log on to Amazon Prime and and it would and it went to the movie. So somebody fixed it. Right. So it's called science friction. Yeah. And if you are having problems finding it, you could try using science fiction and then putting in a word like Dunning, D-U-N-N-I-N-G, or Emory. Emory. And those should help you find the link. The um, Janine, you want to mention something really quick? I do. Oregon Skeptic Camp is going to be in person, and it's a Ray Hyman Appreciation Day along with it. So from August... Uh, 13th and 14th. The 13th is Saturday. We'll have speakers, Skeptic Camp in Eugene. And Sunday afternoon will be um, emphasis on uh, local magicians and Ray Hyman's celebration. A, a late 
94th birthday party, basically. So it's a social and, and magician. But since people are coming from out of town, we'll have a pub meetup Friday night and talks all day Saturday. And then I assume we'll figure out a way to go out Saturday evening for dinner and stuff. And then Sunday, come back for uh, Ray Hyman Appreciation Day. And among other things, we will be showing Jerry Andrus Optical Illusions. This is so. so exciting, you guys. I will be there. Mark Edwards says he'll be there. I think Deborah's planning on going, right? I hope so. Yeah. So this is going to be a really fun event. So this I, is this is kind of the same time as the Skeptics Toolbox was, right, which is an old, year in August. And so there are a lot of people who were Skeptic Toolbox regulars who will be coming um, to celebrate Ray's uh, birthday. Right. Ray Hyman is one of the founders of the modern skeptic movement, and so I, if if you get a chance to meet him. This is, it, it's an, a great opportunity to meet him. He's 94, so come on. And an all around great guy. Yeah, he's, he's an all around great person. Really, really yeah, good guy. Really and like he great always great has a smile great. on his face. Oh yeah, he's so fun to talk to. Yeah. So yeah, try to come out to this if you can. We'll talk about it again as we get closer, but put that in your calendars if you can. So we're ready to start back. Great job, you guys. Thank you so much. What, what are you showing, Robin? Robin? What is it? Beer. She's showing beer. Robin, you're muted. The dog, Petunia, is so happy that her girl is home from college. Oh. oh. And she's like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Petunia is more excited. That's so funny. All right. So we're ready to go. Let me make sure I've, I've stripped um, Janine of her powers. Sorry, Janine, you just lost your powers. That's okay. I guess you can handle it. I'm not very power hungry. <laughs> and we're going to go to Leonard. You know you're up next, Leonard, right? I do. Let's give you some powers. Okay, so let's get the topic so we can all groan. So this is a, a, a different way of uh, looking at the idea. The topic is May 19th. Uh -huh. Things that happened through history on May 19th. Okay. Okay, that's that's different uh, for but sure. It's May 20th. Uh, oh, not, it's not, not in the parts part of the world that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you want to do the yeah. honors or Leonard? Okay. So here are 11 things that happened on May 19th in different years. Ho Chi Minh was born. Napoleon Bonaparte founds the Legion of Honor. Malcolm X was born. Egypt announces that the Suez Canal is closed to Israeli ships. The nearer one becomes the first man-made object to fly past another planet. The firearm, the firearm Owners Protection Act is signed by Ronald Reagan. Gary Kildall is born. Buffalo Bill's Wild West opens in Omaha, Nebraska. Ogden Ash dies. Johns Hopkins is born. And Anne Boleyn is beheaded. Wow. Anne Boleyn was beheaded on Mark's birthday? Wow. And those things happened. Connection. Reincarnation, yeah. <laughs> those things happened in these years. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. So arrange them accordingly. Good, good, oh, good, good. This will be fun. I like these kinds of things. So, some of them are pretty easy. And some of them are not. Okay, fine. And it's quick. I mean, quick to explain. Yeah, quick to explain. And we can we can make up some time here. Terrific, Linda. Do you want to send us to our rooms?
breakout rooms, open all rooms. Is it safe to, us? oh, Leonard is on our team. Yeah, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you anything. <laughs> Darn. It's gonna go away. <laughs> So yeah, hello gonna... team. Hello. We got Susan us helping us this round. Susan to to, to help. <laughs> I'm the wild card. Okay, so here we go. Who's in who's in charge? This kind of thing, you almost have to have a screen share. Who's doing it? Not you. Thank you. Yeah, you had to do something so you can see these things. Okay. Okay, Anne Boleyn, I know. Yeah, that's the first 1536, one. yeah. Yeah, all right. So, which one yeah. is it? 1536? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Ronnie Reagan's 1986. Can't find it. Where'd it go? Oh, there, the, the firearm uh, owners. Oh, yeah. I think the Wild West show is 1942. No, no it can't be. No, it's older than that. That was yeah, the 1800s. Buffalo 18. Bill's 1800 something. 83 well, or 90. Buffalo Bill had Annie Oakley, and Annie Oakley actually performed for uh, Wilhelm the uh, first, Wilhelm, uh, the guy who started Ka Ka World War One. Kaiser Wilhelm, yeah. Kaiser Wilhelm. Yeah. So I guess 1890 is the only thing that fits, though I thought it would be later. 1883. 18. It could be one of those two. 83 or 90. We'll, we'll get it by process. Okay, let's see. see Suez Canal. Could Egypt announcing the Suez Canal closed to Israeli ships in 71 or 61? Well, I thought that would have been. <sighs> Which war would that have been? I mean, it's yeah, one of the last easy ones now. I'm going to guess that one was 71 only because there was the 72 war, the six day war. Well, what about this Vera one becomes the first man made object to fly past another planet? That's got to be, wouldn't that be in the 70s? I've never heard of it, but. Neither have I, but it's got to be late. was in 1950. I'm assuming it's got to be that late. Who, who is um, 1971? Um, what is, when is, which one is that? Um, we were thinking it's the Suez Canal one. Well, at one point, but the Venera one, I mean, that would we, didn't, we didn't start putting one. things out into space until the 60s, so there's no way that it could have flown past. That's why it's got to be 71, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking now. Yeah, because it's Venus. Venera would be Venus. Yeah, it would take a while to get out there. So, so Kevin switched the Egypt one with the... Yeah, one, one down. Yeah, put it in Vera and then put 61 with Egypt. Egypt. That kind of makes a little more sense. I have no idea who Gary Kindle is, but it's probably not born in the 80s. Gary Kildall, but I've heard, I can't think of who he is. I know the name. Is he recent, like living? I wish I could know way. Who's know Ogden Nash? He's a poet. A poet. poet a poet yeah. and a writer. Uh, so Carrie. he's going he's gonna to be one of these. Carrie, what? I was yeah. really into him. I read like all this stuff. Which Ogden Nash? Yeah. Is he a living person? No. Or did he live in the 1800s? No, no he's definitely it's 1900s. <laughs> it's either 42 yeah. or 50 when he died. Yeah. <laughs> He was he was big in the forties. I rem I when I was a kid, there was a lot of yeah. He I'm was guess nineteen fifty because he was yeah. big in the forties. He died after that. He's yeah. hilarious. 
A lot of animal limericks. 18, eight, eight, what's the 18? Oh, funny, I've, I've not heard of them. It was Just witty, smart. witty poetry. Um, God, what's a, I'm trying to think, God, I need, used to know some of it by heart. Anyway, do the wicket and then we'll do that later. Go back. Yes, in here. Yeah, that guess that makes sense, even though we don't know who Gary Kindle is, but it doesn't sound like somebody born in the 1800s. Well, I think it should be Gary Kildall, but with an L, but I'm not sure. Okay, so Napoleon and John Hopkins. Daddy John Hopkins Kindle. has got a university, like a... Yeah, yeah. So probably those are so, those years are so close together. They are. To say. They're too close. When was Napoleon Bonaparte like? Well, late 1700s, early 1800s, the French Revolution was the 1790s. So it's just, we're guessing. Yeah. Yeah, he might be 18, that might be 1802. I wouldn't be surprised if those are reversed, but I don't Yeah, know. we don't know though. You want me to switch them? I, it's just it's a crapshoot one way or the other, I think. I feel like reverse, but I don't want to say it. I'm just trying to think of, I mean, I went to want me to switch stuff. something? I don't care what we change. I just put them down to put something down. I don't have a preference if you guys wanted, I, but I do think that those are the two that we probably have the most problem with. John Hopkins University. Well, what years were the, the French Revolution? Because I would assume he formed the, the Legion of Honor after the revolution. Yeah, which is French why Revolution I think that was in the late 70s or 1790s, right? Okay, yeah. so switch those yeah. two. I, guess. I think yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it should be switched. Yeah, Legion of Honor might be 1802. Okay, we happy? You're ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> That was delivered perfectly. You know, Ron, I used to do the same thing. I have an older sister, and every chance I got, I would say, I'm Susan, her much younger sister. <laughs> um, Chi uh, Minh being born in 1890. What's up? Why did we pick 1890? Because I thought that's what I guessed. And Buffalo Bill was in 83. That's what I guessed. Yeah. And again, those are two that could be reversed, but I have no um, idea. Well, like I said, Buffalo Bill, I know was around in the 18. Yeah, it's the right year. It's around okay, that could time. Could he have had Annie Oakley going to visit in World War One and uh, before World War One, Kaiser Wilhelm, which was 19. 16 could have been like 1900 but so either no of those 1900. years makes sense there's no 1900 there right 1925 is the closest one and that's got to be well, malcolm X. i'm just thinking about when he created the show so 18 i thought it would have been 1860s my first guess but i knew there was an 1860s up there so i went with the closest one no it wouldn't be i'm thinking it's going to be later because like i said he had a show that was going and it was popular enough that he was able to send Annie, Annie Oakley and him went to Germany and visited. Yeah, they, this guy yeah, they who was, did. Like he was a, in power. Yeah, it was a European tour, yeah. So he was in power at the time. So Kaiser Wilhelm was in power not for long before World War I started, right? I mean, did the show go on for years, though, that it could have started way earlier? Yeah, I guess so. But you would think he'd be at the height it, of his fame. It would be, it would be 83 to it would be 83 or 1890. Because 25 is right. So it's either they're good as they are, or we switch them. You guys decide. Right. I like it the way it is. Um yeah. I'm not sure about 61 and 71, switching those. Um I, I'm not sure about Kit Gary Kid doll. If 42 and 50 could be switched, I don't know. What what do you got for 50? Ogden Nash dies. Yeah, yeah, I think. But we said he was popular in the 40s, so. Yeah. So that's probably good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. And John Hopkins, it sounds like a 1795 thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think would... we're good. Yeah. You know, I'm okay with the Buffalo Bill being where it is because it's only just seven years right off of the ho chi men and he that's the toughest ones that are that close he must have been pretty famous to do where he did where he went to europe yeah yeah so, i think 61 and 71 might be oh no no first no, thing okay. past another planet no that's probably right yeah it's, yeah 61 i don't think we had anything out in space that yeah was i don't think able so. to go out there yeah nothing yeah, that would have gotten right. to venus yet so so buffalo oh. Could 61 and 42 be stretched? Yeah, the European tour he must have taken was probably in like 1910. Could 61 and, and, and 42 be switched? No, the because is, 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 is Israel didn't exist in 42. That's okay, right. 48. thank you. Good, good, good discussion, you guys. Good logic, but I don't, still don't um, know who Gary Kidall is. Yeah. So I left I left an L out. It's Gary Kildall. Kildall. That's yeah. what we thought. Someone yeah. said that, and I still don't know yeah. who it is. He uh, said, he, I heard him say Kildall. Gary Kildall was the uh, founder of a company in Pacific Grove called um, Digital Research. Its original name uh, was Intergalactic Digital Research, and he wrote the first operating system for personal what, computers. I should have. And known Pacific that. Grove is like twenty minutes from me. Yep. Go go, pizza. And, and he go was over there and check on him. Um, he That's has right. passed away. Yeah. So you can't. Susan. Uh huh. I've got. I remembered some Ogden Nash. You want to hear it? It's real short. Tell me. Is, is this the one El Lama? Yes, the one El Lama is. That's yep. a priest. Two El Lama. That's a beast. And I'll. I will bet a silk pajama. There's no such thing as a three El Lama. Yeah. So yeah, Gary said he mm -hmm. does limericks. That's kind of like what it is. No, I I don't. Did he do limericks? He did. What did you say, Gary? Like short, just short poems. Very short and, poems. And there were a lot. There was a lot of wordplay. A lot of animal. Yeah. Very witty. Yeah, animal animal imagery and a lot of witty wordplay and you know like a, a satirical edgy. I used to know. Yeah, I, I really like this. Stuff. But Very the one Al is one of his most famous. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Yeah, you remember. But I was that's roughly what it was, right? Yeah. So remember this. Seen. These were all May 16th. So 19th. 19th, whatever. <laughs> May 19th, you'll be for the rest of your life, you'll say. Hmm. Yeah, you can do this on Buffalo Bill Wild any, West Show open to know. And any day though. You just go. Oh, yeah, on you look at Wikipedia. Today. Just go, what happened today in history? And they give a, the newspapers print this kind of stuff. So before every one of these uh, things, every Thursday, we need to go and look at Wikipedia and see what happened that day, just because somebody might. I use think that so. Their... Planet might be doing the category. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've we had these before. <laughs> I did, did one before on a yeah, else did one. What happened on this day in history? Well, it's, that was but like... you know, it's harder than you think, because you've got to make the question. You've got to, some of the things are so obscure. <laughs> Well, there's one like two or three weeks ago where the theme was that day, but that wasn't the, the name oh, of the theme. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That was very clever. Cinco de Mayo, yeah. People, I used to write all the categories, Ron. And since <laughs> I've switched it over to let people do the categories, they're so much cleverer than I am. I, I, I'm impressed. With, they make I me got, I got one. Did you put me down for next week or something? Or the we week haven't after? talked about it. Yeah, guys, I got a whole... Thing. I think uh, Rob has put himself down. He says, I'll do the first one or Kevin's going to do the whole thing. Yeah, that's fine. I got it ready. And I was hoping the longer we get delayed, the more apt someone is to do one of my categories. So I'd like to get it out of the way. Because <laughs> if someone did it tonight, I'd be like, oh, I got to rewrite a category. You didn't do a full day for a while? When was the last uh, time you did it? I did it only, I did the first one, the first of the year. That's it. Oh, yeah. January 6th. Yeah. And then it was Kevin. I mean, no, then it was Mike Wolf. So it it looks Carl. like looks like basically everybody's done. Okay, we were just talking. Mm -hmm. Rob did a whole thing, then Carl did a whole thing. Okay, so good job. You guys were great. That was a great conversation. I didn't have to talk anybody out of anything. So <laughs> if I just did. click close all rooms, should I do it from the main room or do it from where you are? No, don't come okay. up here. Don't come up here. Yeah, because you'll come back to this room. Which I think is where I want to be. Yep. Yeah, do it from here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm not gonna leave the breakout room. I'm gonna wait for it to 
kick me out. That just way, I, by yourself. That way, I can't. Um, I hear I'll stay and hang out with you for a second. Oh, I think Except, of course, we're recording, so be careful what you say. I had a really good time at CFI. Oh, good. Really, really great time. Um, I got a lot of, you know, they showed me around, even though I've been there a few times, but every time I get lost. Yeah, I've, just, I've been I've been in that building so many times. Um, I, I, I know it very well. Yeah, I, I know uh, enough to get lost, especially when I'm going I'll, down I'll the I'll be there in a few lot. weeks. It'll be nice to uh, nice to actually see those people. Yeah. Oh, take your own Nerf gun. <laughs> Barry has one he keeps in a drawer. I think it's the second cabinet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to. Right. <clears throat> oh, care. Okay. This was a really good, this was a fun puzzle. Yeah, I liked it. And it like yeah, I actually got 11 good. answers. Are there? 11? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's you good. Did 11, so you could, yeah, you, you could can get nine. And, you you could still get one. nine. It's still get nine. Okay, so go for it, Mr. Leonard. Oh, I don't. I, I didn't write anything down. So, our... do you do you <laughs> want me to uh, read them first and then paste them in, or paste them in and then read them, or what just paste sense? them in? None of the above. First, unmask. <laughs> in. Strip. <laughs> Can you read the mask first? First, first yeah, we can unmask. The mask. First, we okay, the mask. I am unmasked. A thrill. <laughs> hey, it's Leonard. Leonard was the one. <laughs> I was doing wondering. That I thought I recognized the voice. All right, so read them. 1536, Anne Boleyn is beheaded. 1795, Johns Hopkins born. Yay. Uh, 1802. Napoleon Bonaparte founds the Legion of Honor. Oh, so close. That's right. 1883, Buffalo Bill Wild West opens in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, yay! So we guessed right. 1890, Ho Chi Minh is born. Mm -hmm. Yay. 1925, Malcolm X is born. I thought he was younger than that. 1942, today would have been his 80th birthday. Gary Kildall, who was a friend of mine. K-I-L-D. And I'm it? sorry for uh, uh, leaving an L out. K-I-L-D, right? K-I-L-D-A-L. -K He'll forgive you. Um, no, he wouldn't, but uh, that's, that's, a, that's a mistake. And he it, and it will be all right. Uh, so Gary um, started a company whose original name was Intergalactic Digital Research, formal, then shortened to Digital Research uh, in Pacific Grove, California. And he had a program or a product called CPM, Control Program for oh, Microcomputers. Sorry, that was the in. first operating system for personal computers and in many ways started the personal computer business. Yep. So we'll, we'll celebrate it when we go to Gianni's in, Mon in Pacific Grove next. Uh, 1950, for him. 1950, Egypt announced that the Suez Canal is closed wow. to Israeli ships. 1961, oh. Venera 1 becomes the first man-made object to fly past oh, another planet. Wow. Ooh. 1971, Ogden Nash dies. Oh. And 1986, the Firearm Owners Protection Act is signed by Ronnie Reagan's. Oh, sorry, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan's. Firearms Protection Oh, we got some mixed up. So what does that say that, that you can have, I don't know, a, a tank killing? It was, it was signed by Ronald Reagan, so it's probably not very sensible. Well, but there is one sensible in provision in it. It makes the transfer of any fully automatic weapon made after 1986 illegal. Yeah, well, we got rid of that. If you wanted to buy an automatic <laughs> weapon, you couldn't buy one made after 1986. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead and put them in the chat. The answers, Leonard, please do. You want, you want the answers? Yeah. So that obviously goes uh, uh, farther than... And there the, we go. The, <laughs> the Constitution. But, okay, here we go. Well, the Constitution <laughs> says nothing about uh, individual ownership of guns. Right. Guns, yeah. 
or automatic weapons, I think, either. Or what a weapon is. We should have switched that 6171 through. Yeah. You know, I don't think that was even something we were considering, too. I, I said it, but then you guys talked me out of it, and it was actually. I didn't talk to anybody. Somebody about. said 1951 or whatever. No, it made it made one seventy one. Okay, so we would have got Harry, one of them wrong. Harry Face Brigade. We did a little better this time. We got a three. <laughs> Deborah's laughing. It makes me makes me laugh when I hear her laugh like that. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> All right, two Americans plus two Canadians equals six great ones, or we five did. great ones. Five. You got five. Who said? Who said five? I they did. were. I think they were correcting the the name of the. Uh, oh yeah. So what's the score? Or, was, yeah, Larry. Why don't you mute yourself while you're eating? I'm sorry. There, Larry. <laughs> was, he's not even in our team. It was four. We got four. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, yeah he was correcting me when I was saying I said equals five great. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So self-replicating gory cupcakes. He Whoa, they're in the lead. Should we just let it pause for a second here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. so the, I can't see it until I get it closer. Tres tristes tigres. Ten. Oh man. <laughs> and the group and the group that I was in and is Leonard's team. What did you do to your team, Leonard? Eight. Eight. It's not disrespectful, so not too bad. Could be worse. So a an average of six point six with one hell of a spread. Mm -hmm. um, I have a request, Susan. Yes. For tres tigres, can mm -hmm. you add me and Terry? Terry left, but she was with us for a while. Mike left. You're not and, on there, and I'm not on there. Your name's not on there. Just for posterity's sake. Oh no, I am really ashamed let, of myself let, that I let missed the record that. Let the record reflect. Oh, I'm I'm embarrassed. Embasado. Soy um, embasado. I, Sorry. And I have I have a request. <laughs> Can we have a handicapping system? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever team gets my brother Susan. needs a handicap. Needs a handicap. Susan. Yes. Susan. Yes. Embarazado is a false friend in Spanish. That means you're pregnant. I thought that's right. So embasado is pregnant. So what's embarrassed? I don't know, but it's not Meryl. Hmm. Embarrassed is what? I don't know, wrong. but it's not that because you just that said embasado. I thought I get pregnant and embarrassed mixed up. I think embasado. Apenado. It's apenado. 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 Is embarrassed. And uh, embarazado is pregnant. Yeah. I thought, embarazado. Those, are little, I thought those are the little fried uh, snacks that you can eat. <laughs> Apenados or the malasadi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Karen, you're up, girl. Let's see what you're going to do. Um, I have to uh, pass on right now. It's uh, I have to pass go to on. work in a couple hours. So. Bye, Roland. Oh. Yeah. Bye. Good night, Ron. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night, Ron. Okay, so I do I have powers? I have powers. You have powers! Oh. Okay, so I'm not going to mute people. Uh, I mean, Susan, you can mute people if you want, but I'm not going to mute people. Let's see here. So this category is match the film to the director. Ooh, cool. And in the, I'm going to put it, post it in just a second. Please note that one person's name will be used twice and two people's names will not be used at all. <gasps> Thank you Ooh, for that information. That's cool. So mean, Karen. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, my pretties. <laughs> and your little dog, too. And Robin's little dog, too. <laughs> okay. This is so, Toto. Right oh, oh. Oh. You know, do you know her dog was Toto, right? Yeah. So that makes total sense. Twice. Okay. okay. Right. So here, here is the, the list of films that I hope will still be formatted when i hit oh oh and um okay here we go uh one is find it for you one is a league of their own two is the hurt locker 
Three is Ladyburg, four is Yentl, two is American Psycho, six is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, seven is Selma, eight is Nomad Land, nine is Wonder Woman, and 10 is Big. Okay. And then you have, um, then you have the choices. Same movie directors. The Match. choice movie of the directors. directors. And here we go. The choice of directors. Is um, right here, A through K, uh, Chloe uh, Chloe Zo, Penny Marshall, Minnie Driver, Sally Field, Patty Jenkins, Ava DuVernay, Amy Hinkerling, Barbara Streisand, Greta Gerwig, uh, Mary Heron, and Catherine Bigelow. Keep in mind, one of those names will be used for two answers. For you know that one of those people directed two of these films. Two of these people did not direct any of the films on this list. I see a theme with those. Okay. Somewhere. So another thing I want to tell you is that this list is according to uh, Marie Claire magazine. And I will share the link with you um, later if you want to see other directors who did uh, wonderful films. Any okay. questions? Oh, oh, I would like your answers, please, to be formatted like one is Z, three is X, right? Number first. Monday? Number first. Number first. Any Number questions? No, I like it. Another another category that catches us up in, as far as time. Okie dokie, Good artichokies. Job. Go to your rooms, please. Mike, you went, yeah, thank you, Mike. Good job. I'll, I'll bring face. Face. Yeah. There's the movies and directors. She's like, I got it. I want to see. Yeah. Did Mark fall asleep? It looks like Mark fell asleep. We have uh, lighting here, so we might, the internet might go on, out, possibly. Oh, you do. How exciting. I missed all the great weather, the exciting yeah. weather. Yeah, yeah I, we, we saw the little lines. <laughs> Faith is like, oh, I can do it. I'm trying to go to sleep. I mean, well, like, we need your help. Uh, can you see my screen? Um, can you make it bigger? Make it bigger because I can't see. Thank you. The Hurt Locker's Catherine Bigelow. I'll be right back. Hurt Locker. I think it's Catherine Bigelow. Hurt Locker is Catherine Bigelow. So that's Barbara uh, Streisand's okay. Yentl. Yes. Uh, Barbara H. H. Is which one? Yentl, four. And I have Sally Field is the Wonder Woman. Sally Field might be number one. Okay, I'm back. Um, you guys need my help on this or you already got them all? Uh, I'm trying we, to think. Yeah, we need help. American Psycho. Mini Driver directed a movie? Not necessarily. One of these is not going to I've been on. I've been on mute. So A League of Their Own is Penny Marshall. Yeah. Okay. As is big. As is big. So she's the one that's used twice. So B this one is, is B. Yeah, B. B? Yeah, Penny B Marshall. for that one and B for 10. Lady Bird is Greta Gerwig, which is I. Selma is Ava DuVernay, which is F. Yeah. F. Nomad Land is Chloe Zhao, which a. is A. Wonder Woman was. Is that the one that just came out? 
Wonder Woman's Patty Jenkins. Ah. Uh, Fast Times in American Psycho, huh? Amy Heckerling, I think, did Fast Times. Yes. She was one of the first female yeah. directors to hit that big. And that means Sally Field or Minnie Driver did American Psycho. No. No, because she said <laughs> there's, there's two that we aren't using at all. American Psycho is... Uh, I thought she said there's one we're not using. There's two we won't be using and one person is used twice. Jay is American Psycho. Mary Harris. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you guys are good at this. I don't know any of this stuff. I'm glad I came back in time to help. You're helping. Yeah, I'm You're helping. I'm a big help. I'm this a is big nice. Help. Other other people knew all the ones I didn't know, and I knew some ones that other people knew. It's like synergy. I love it. The only ones I knew is the Penny Marshall ones. I remember her doing that. Yeah. Look at their own and yeah, um, big. Uh, well, I think I, I'm not even sure I remember she did big because uh, she died recently, right? Penny Marshall, not even recently, a number of years ago, yeah. like at least five. Well, that's that's mm. recent to me. Yeah. Well, I hear you, I hear you on that. <laughs> I, I remember Terry Fisher was good friends with her, and she was being interviewed one time about Penny Marshall. And she's like, Oh, the way Penny Marshall talks, it's like she's speaking German but in English. <laughs> She'll like save the meaningful part of the sentence to the very end. Like, oh, you know, uh, Bob and Tam, Tim and John, we, last week we went to dinner. You're like, always save the verb and action for the end of the sentence. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's good. She died in 2018, so I was a little off. I, I always joke, German's a sneaky language because they're like, we will this May. The Polish border invade. And by the time the verb's out, it's too late. They've already done it. <laughs> You're right. That's I've never heard of that before. Good category, Karen. I didn't help at all. But are you yeah. having fun? Yeah, I am. And it's nice to it's nice to see other people shine like brilliant light bulbs. I, I don't and know Ramiro, thank you for doing the list because it's very helpful. Oh yeah. yeah. These are these matching things are almost impossible if you don't have a list in front of you, a screen share. And you do it with such great ease and facility. It amazes me. Is it embarrassado? <laughs> I am not embarrassado about it. No, thank you. <laughs> the other teams are not as uh, moving along as quickly as you. Oh, they're probably discussing the plots in each movie or something. Let's see. How many of these have we seen? I've seen A League of Their Own. I saw Yentl. I've That's seen it. Wonder Woman. I've seen League of Their Own, I've seen Yentl, American Psycho, Fast Times, Wonder Woman, and Big. Peggy? I've seen A League of Their Own. I saw parts of The Hurt Locker and I couldn't finish it. Never heard of it. Lady Bird I saw, Yentl I saw. Just the other night it was on the uh, Turner Classics. American Psycho I saw about 20 minutes of, and that was <laughs> hard to watch. Fast Times, of course, everybody's yeah. seen that. No, Selma? I, I haven't seen Selma. I should have seen that. Nomad Land, haven't seen it. Sounds really depressing. Wonder Woman, saw about 10 minutes and fell asleep. And Big, I've seen a number of times. You know, I think I might have seen one of the Wonder Womans. I can't imagine how many there are, but I think I've seen one a few years ago. What's, what's Wonder Woman, Wonders Woman, or Wonder Women? The Wonder Woman. The proper plural. <laughs> what is the, in German, it would be the woman that is, no. What is the, um, Hurt Locker. I've never heard of that. That's one of the only films in which a female director has won Best Director Oscar. Um, and Disposal. it was um, Bomb Disposal Guys. And yeah, it was all about the Mideast and yeah. Gulf mm -hmm. War Bomb Disposal Guys. Yeah, the guys that went and did the you know, the, the things that blew up and killed people. Is it a documentary or is it a No, no, no. It's, it's a it's a searing, dramatic it's a drama. I think it's based on a book, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow, that's not. Jeremy pleasant. is it Jeremy Renner? I think his name is Jeremy. It was like his big break. Yeah. And um, and it's it. it oh, I don't know. I I have lost my ability to watch the scab picking difficult movies. I, yeah. I, scab I have not picking. Seen it. That's an interesting phrase. No, Lady Bird. I assume that's about uh, the 
vice president's wife? I mean, the no. president's wife? No. <laughs> oh, Lady Bird. Is this the one about the young girl who jumps out of the car? Yeah, in Sacramento. I did see that. Yeah, yeah it was a movie about Sacramento. What was yeah. it about her? She was... That Sarsha Ronan and... Um... I can't remember her name, the woman who plays her mom. They're both really good. It's it's uh, it's fun to watch. It's a coming of age, you know. Thing. Young girl who's having trouble in school, I think, right? She's having trouble just being herself and getting along with her mother and individuating and all that stuff. I think her mother is kind of dominating, if I remember correctly. Her mother is. I did see this. I think I saw it over at... Um in Monterey at the theater that they closed uh the the one downtown that was so great where they had yeah. fun good films yeah I hated that they got rid of it yeah it was called uh Osio the Osio yeah I think I saw Lady Bird there now that I remember about it yeah I I don't think I even saw Big I I know what it is it's Tom Hanks and he becomes yeah. a child or something. It's really fun and it's held uh, up well. If you happen to see like, it, was, you should was see it. Elizabeth Perkins in that? Yes. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh Fast Times at Richmond High. I think and I've Robert seen Loggia. clips of it. And Robert Loggia on the on that thing that they dance on is so that's a great scene. Yeah. What's that American Psycho about? I've heard of it. Psycho, a serial killer kind of guy. Oh, yeah. so it's not a comedy? I thought it was a comedy. Oh, no. Not, no. It's probably wry and meant to be ironic, but it's yeah. not a comedy. All right, great job, team. Christian Bale. I was just informed, Susan, that uh, recording is in progress. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Vincent. <laughs> just in case nobody noticed, recording is in we we weren't uh, quite finished. finished. I saw it. Okay, what room number, please? Two. Okay, room two. You're going to come over? Next. Only go back if you have to go back, team. No. I think we're we don't have to, way. I don't think. We were talking about how many of these we've actually seen. So and I, there's more than I thought. I I looked at it and I first gave like three names and then I went back and realized what they were. I, I think I had five. So do you know how to change the, the, the notification timer when you close the rooms? No. You know, one thing that did happen while you were um, not at the helm was a two minute warning, which yeah. was the only thing. I like Rob, but that was the only thing that was something <laughs> I thought, oh, that's, I like that even better. Did yeah. you like the two minute warning? Love like the two one? minute warning. Okay. How do I change it? Yeah, it worked out much I better. Ask Rob. I don't know. I don't think this he put any probably kind on of, that screen. I don't think he did anything. He I did something to make it happen. Was defaulting to. Yeah, he would have, he would have done something because yeah, default. Default is a minute. Right, but he didn't. Um, he didn't, he didn't change it. anything in the controls. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. Or he changed it back. Yeah. No, that's not like him. No. The courteous of him. I. That's <laughs> probably like a boy setting Scott, that the local than me. client side and not. He color coded your Excel spreadsheet, but he's oh, colorblind. Oh, he had all kinds of fun with the expression. Okay. He's colorblind. Susan Rob's trying to take over <laughs> your. <laughs> He's not here tonight. <laughs> He's um, running a pilot of a competitive <laughs> trivia session tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. what, would I, what would I look up? Called social um, trivia without Susan. <laughs> what would I call it? George. It's George. It's George. Trivia without Susan. Hey, Peggy. That's a nice oh. dog. So Jamie's wife is sitting in the water. That looks weird. <laughs> She's just like yeah. floating in the water. So what? What am I looking up? Zoom Hi, um, timer. Hi George. Hi um, George. Oh. it's timer called breakout rooms. Um, closing breakout, room breakout rooms. Breakout room setting. Yeah, we're all back now. He okay. looked so much smaller when he was down on the ground with that other dog, Peggy. He looks big on you. <laughs> He's growing really fast too. Aww. 
Oh, He's so cute. What you doing? Man. Those ears. I'm trying to get him to put his butt in the camera, but he won't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's not a cat. We don't want to see his cat. butt. What? He's not a cat. We want to see his nose. Yeah, look at that. Just yeah. look at the nose. Look at that nose. You probably right. need two phones. <laughs> He's not going to have any kind of showbiz career. He just. <laughs> okay. I hope this formatting. <clears throat> works hey alex you're, you're still around sorry alan <laughs> you're still around where's avi <laughs> he's not to sleep sure. yeah he went to bed he's a, okay he's a so here we go are we ready for uh scoring yes no yeah. no okay no, we're not ready for scoring did we, did we get points for, bonus for guessing the theme how about answers no one said there was a theme there is well, a there theme. Is one nope these are just directors of movies yeah uh -huh. okay sure they just happen to be women. Right. Uh, if they were all men, would you make a comment about that? Thank yes, you. I would have said the theme is all male di uh, directors. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so these, uh, okay. So number, and I'll, I'll hit enter, but I'm going to say them. Okay. One, a league of their own is one. The answer is B, Penny Marshall. A. Number two is Hurt Locker. Two is K, Catherine Bigelow, who got an award for that. A lot of recognition. And again, it's surprising, you know, that people make assumptions about the gender of the um, directors. Lady Bird. Was a guy. Lady Bird was three. I, Greta Gerwig. Oh. Four, Yentl was H, Barbara Streisand. Number mm -hmm. five, American Psycho is a weird movie Very that weird. was directed by Jay, Mary Heron. Um, six is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, uh, it, it, and it was um, directed by uh, Amy Heckerling, G. She also did uh, Clueless. Uh, Selma, uh, an outstanding movie, an important movie. Seven is F, Ava DuVernay. Nomadland, number eight is A, Chloe Zhao. Number nine, number nine, Wonder Woman was E, Patty Jenkins. And number 10, Big, was again, Penny Marshall. Penny Marshall. So who did not direct any of these? Sally Field or Mini Driver? Oh, we got that. Oh, my God. Great category, Karen. Yeah. Very good. Yay. Yep. Oh. And if I ever... Now, no one's ever going to make a movie of my life, but they ask you, you know, it's like some little question somewhere. Who would you want to portray you? I would want Minnie Driver. She doesn't look, look, like, Hitchcock. She doesn't look like me. Hitchcock. She doesn't look like me, but she kind of captures the something like me. I could see that. Mm -hmm. I like Minnie, Minnie Driver. Driver. Which one is she? She's she was one. in Good Will she's Hunting. She's, yep. she's the one that's like Karen. <laughs> I, I, was I, in, Karen, Karen, that makes sense. But Minnie she was Driver, in Gross Point was, Blank, uh, which is a familiar. great movie. She was in Circle of Friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we can see you. Okay, are you ready for scores? Let's hear the yes. scores. I, I'm trying to remember who Minnie Driver. Okay, what she looks like and why she's like Karen. Why is she like Karen? She does sort of look like she's Karen. She's got freckles and kind of a big head and a yeah, big black cheeks. face <laughs> like me oh and come on perky personality uh, mini dragon okay i'll look her it's up it's like a chipmunk she looks a little and like she can <laughs> sing <laughs> what? Uh, she can sing she was in a musical recently karen can you sing yeah she can karen can sing mini driver was in point blank gross point gross point blank oh yep <laughs> okay John okay, of course. Oh, I got to show them to you. Ah, you guys were all waiting for me, weren't you? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where shall I start? Uh, How about with uh, the Harry? Yes, Spacey please. Trade? It's time for us to go into the double digits. Eight. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Almost doubled your score. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> I oh, I had two of them switched. If I wouldn't have switched, you really them, did almost double your score in that. I know. That's pretty sad. Okay, so, the Great American plus two Canadians. Ten. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Man. 
Spot the gout. Spot the gout. Okay, so self-replicating gore, gory cupcakes. Six. Hmm. Not too shabby. Good. Very good. Okay, tres tristes tigres. Ten. Uh, oh, that was her Karen's team, too. I was on that team. Not that I helped. Five. Them, but I was there. And Madison, five. Five? Yeah, five. five. Mm. You lowered the average. And there's we the guest on five of them. We got those wrong. <laughs> you and need to pay better that. attention. You, <laughs> I'm telling you. Come on now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Your round sure. redeemed us. <laughs> 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 so here we go. Let's get the final in. Bonus. And that will be Miss Robin. Bonus. 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 Hey, All right. Bonus. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Maybe. We'll just uh, go cut and paste. <clears throat> Baby, what you doing? Let's see. Oops. All right. There are a zillion million species of trees on the planet. Name Maybe 20 it. of them. Mono's rules. <laughs> Mono rules. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> the first okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm putting a list of 10 names, names of people okay. in the chat. <laughs> And the question is, true or Where false? Where did they go to school? Do we know them? Oh. Now, true or false, these people are witnesses in the Johnny Depp trial. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh my gosh. Finally, I'm in the right knew, room. Mark, Mark oh, finally oh. is going to get a category that he can do. Oh, all my God. Robin. <laughs> Mark <laughs> is so fascinated with this. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, wait. I don't feel so confident now. <laughs> Finally. I knew Mark was paying attention for a reason. Okay, too bad I'm not on his team tonight. Okay, so how do we how do we play this now? So you gotta true go or false. you gotta go to your room and you gotta figure out is is true or false. You know, the first person is Ron Ship. True or false. Okay, I gotcha. Yes, All right. Yes, no no Googling. <laughs> no problem. Google. Google okay, send things. us to our rooms, you guys. <laughs> oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. I'm also, I, I, I'll just tell you, it's not 50, it's not necessarily 50 50. I'm not going to tell you. Don't like, give any it could hints. Be 70 30, it could be 60 40. Mark's like, be, I finally got a category. I know. 80, well, 10, I know. I don't know. Come on, let's go. go. Some I of these people are witnesses. Amazing. Mark Someone Mark's are. trained for this so hard, and he doesn't want to <laughs> give it away anything. <coughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Why are we stuck uh, on Susan? I don't know. Face? Mike, send us away. Do or, I? Or okay. Robin. Sure. I I don't. Do I have powers? Do you have the know. powers? Yeah. I don't. Oh, I have the powers. Let me see. I can do it. Do okay. It How did you get it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If no, I, Karen's. I, I, I mean, Robin's got it. Uh, oh, did we lose Mike? Or did it just? I do something. Yeah, Mike had that's to go. Why. Oh no, wonder yeah. I was waiting for Mike. To uh, I don't have powers. Do you, yes, you does do. everyone see the breakout rooms? Down I do. At the bottom, I can send me? people. Oh no, I can't. You do have I, it. I don't know. Have breakout rooms on the bottom. True or false? This person. I have. Right, I did. Uh, so I opened the breakout room. rooms. Go to breakout rooms. Yeah, I can join my room manually. I don't actually and have powers. Hold on, let her do it. She can do it. The powers I have are broadcast to message to all or close all rooms. Okay, so that's because somebody already. I, I think the they oh room. they yeah they either they somebody didn't close last time or they opened them and then the messages never went out. Yeah. So do we go to do we go to leave? No. no go to your breakout. Go, go room. or and, and if you don't see breakout room. rooms, uh, go to the three dots that says more, and yeah. that should bring up a join breakout room. Okay. There we go. I was wondering if right. you guys were going to show up. <laughs> Who's following this? I don't know. I am following it, but I don't know if I know the names. I might be able to tell you who is. Who is I it. can share it, and there are the names. Okay, right. so. Um, Mark, Mark Furman, Furman no. is not. No, he was an OG OJ. What, Mark? Mark Furman, the racist oh, that's, cop. That's false. Yeah, right. he was a racist cop. Alejandro Romero, I think, is. 
so that's true. Yeah, and I don't know about this Karen Goldman. That doesn't sound right. Um, so false. Yeah, Goldman is from the O.J. Simpson trial, right? Well, the name is certainly present there, but yeah, Ron Goldman, but I don't know who Karen Goldman is. I mean, it could be. Do you think they're all either OJ or Johnny Depp? <laughs> Robin, uh, uh, uh. Robin two, put this together 10 minutes before, I bet. Watch. The two great trials of our lifetime. <laughs> so, so Vincent, you're watching this trial? No. Oh, Kyle, are you watching this trial? No. <laughs> God, don't make me. Why? Why is would me? I? I'm the only one here that can do this. <laughs> That's it. Oh, uh, you're lucky. I'm aware it's taking place. <laughs> okay, Ron Ship. I'm gonna say yes. No, uh, the other Ron. The the other Ron. Oh my God, Raymond Kildriff. You know, I only know it as her makeup artist, the person oh, in her, her sister, yeah. the. Uh, uh the person who is her trainer her actor trainer that's how i know their names raymond killed oh. sounds like a fake name oh robin i'm the only one here that's watched this trial. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's a 50 50 you got a 50 50 chance for i know one. but it we're like is it oj or is this are these johnny depp names i see at least one maybe two oh. from oj <laughs> okay, Raymond killed this Oh, come on. Do you think Robin would have made that word up? That does I don't not recognize sound like it a from real I, I, can, I will tell you that none of these are made up names. They are mm. all witnesses in some trial. Yeah, O.J. Simpson. I've never <laughs> heard of Raymond killed Raymond. Kildiff. There might be a Raymond. So put true. That sounds like an old person's name. Raymond killed Okay, Ron Schnill. Now, I would put true on everything as remaining because sure, I don't know. I think there is a Travis in here. Natalie sounds right. I mean, whether it's a real last name, <laughs> I can't believe I'm, yeah, the I'm the expert on this category. That's too funny. And I just don't know. I, I'm only following like the highlights. And again, the names are usually just, oh, Raquel, her makeup artist, you know, or the woman who did her hair for the, her, her costume for such an, for the Jimmy Kimmel show. So you want me to have the answers like this? The false one I know is, Mark we know for sure Mark Furman is false. And I think Karen Goldman is false. She would be Ron Goldman's sister or something, I think. There's probably a couple more falses in there, but I don't know which one they'd be. Yeah, if we could peg them to something else. But I follow the OJ Simpson thing, but none of the other names look familiar. Laura Wasman, Karen Goldman. I wonder if Ron Ship and Ron Schnell, she's got them in there to confuse you. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> like robin <laughs> how you guys doing at least, at least you're having fun <laughs> i am very tired but yeah it, it's 11 it's after 11 p.m but I'll well be that's fine. not late it's still it's still thursday <laughs> used to cross midnight yeah yeah it's not it's thursday come on vince get your yeah. stamina dude come on you know it's well, thursday you're supposed to sleep in and you're supposed but, to uh, work it up for the whole week so that you if i didn't okay. have to if i didn't have to go to my mom's tomorrow then i would have i would have uh left early but i i can sleep in tomorrow so there you go see That's good it's the same day we're, we're not at a time change let me tell you whenever i was traveling and i was on the east coast i was tired but then again adrian was walking me to death <laughs> we were we were doing so much sightseeing and walking and in just the weather and stuff. And 
And then we'd meet people and we'd just talk and talk and talk and talk. And Adrian and I just talked and talked. And so I was, I was poop. By the time I got to trivia, I was like, oh my gosh. The first night that when we were in DC and I did trivia with you guys, I was like this. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I can't barely stay awake. I wanted to just fall in bed. And then when I went to bed after trivia, we just sat and chit-chatted even longer. And I was reading my phone, the articles, what's on my phone. So I didn't go to sleep right away. I just needed to be horizontal, I guess. So that's how it is. Is that, is that what she said? No, I'm kidding. No, is that what she said? Orange, <laughs> purple. Sounds good. So we did really good here, you guys. We just. I think so. We guess. Yeah. We could flip a coin or something. So I what is it I should look up again on Zoom? Zoom, I need to look up the because there's yes, the, like well, I don't know what it's called, but the countdown. Countdown timer. The yeah. final countdown. The final uh -huh. countdown. Yeah, I just um, like that. But I think there's a timer for, let me see here. I'm not sure I'm coming up with the right title. Using the Zoom, using the Zoom timer app, no? No. Here comes Mark. Susan. Yes. I'm gonna cover up my screen, yeah? <laughs> when they're gonna answer, because I gotta pee. Oh, okay. He says, let me know. Um, that's not pulling up what I want. I'm, I think I'm using the wrong, I'm using the wrong, um, I wonder if I can just sign in. Hopefully the thing disappears. I could sign in. And maybe they have it. I think it's under settings or something, right? Any Could of, be. Either of you guys use Zoom? No, hardly at all. Um, I don't use Zoom for anything. Are they ready? No, not yet. Let me see what everybody's doing here. Oh yeah, room two is back. I guess we should go hmm. back. All right, yeah, great job, guys. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna be quiet. This trial? You're all following the trial, right? I'm working. I know there is a trial. I've heard people talk say that. <laughs> I'm following Robin on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> what I just told them was I when we approached this category, I I was very glad that um uh we had Mark and our team because I knew as much about this as I did the day that they came up with Dungeons and Dragons. I know there's a game called Dungeons and Dragons and I've heard the people play it. And that's everything I know about Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Well, you know what's funny about this is Mark is just not this type of person. He doesn't like drama or gossipy stuff very much, you know, that kind of stuff. And then for some reason or other, he just got into it. And he, and I was like, what what do you what are, what are you following this for? He goes, Oh yeah, let me tell you what happened today. Or he'll come in, I'll be doing something else and he'll walk in the room and you go, You're not gonna believe this, and he'll tell me what I'm going. Are you really he that list this? And told, he's the Are one who's all right. Here? You're on mute, Mark. Yeah, he is. Because really, he's right. It's because of him. It, is, oh, is, yeah. Mark has been following this. You know, he'll carry around his phone and he's got it on. Don't give me too much credit yet. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> I, I, we're giving you either the credit or the blame, depending upon well, in too. my yeah. room, They're all your was, answers. It was Kyle and Vincent and I. I was the expert because the other two did, only knew that there was a trial. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I've watched it. But when I've watched it, it's always been uh, Rachel, the the hairdresser or Whitney, the sister. I, I You don't really or you just know him as her, the person who ran the island, Johnny Depp's island. You never know him by their name. 
Susan, when I said I didn't know what was going on, I really meant it. What is the trial about? <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> don't you? If you want, you don't. You don't need to know. It's just Hollywood bullshit. Well, but that's it's, what I think. It's got people it's, just absolutely. Sorry, is this a Dr show? Drugs, is a sex, trial? alcohol. Is it what, Kyle? Is it actually a show or is it a real trial? Oh, it's a real trial. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. You are out of it then. Okay. Really I, not. I, I at least knew it was a real trial, Kyle. I'm ahead of you. <laughs> Robin. Yes, I still don't know what it's yeah. about. Man. What do you think? What do you think? Good? <laughs> I remember once I asked some coworkers if, um, oh, who is the pop star? Lady Gaga, if it was the same person every time. <laughs> It's <clears throat> funny. All right, let's go. You're down in let's Hollywood. Wait. You yeah. should know these things. Well, you're not in Hollywood. You're in Southern My California. Over here. You're supposed to know these things. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just shocked that this is this is the thing Mark is really like following. I guess once you start oh, following oh, that, Mark into yeah. it, Mark's oh, into yes. it. Yes, he's like, come on, let's get back from our break. Come on, let's go. Is he taking notes for a Susan versus Mark case? Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. If he's, he said, oh, that sounds like something Amber would say. And I'm like, shut your mouth. <laughs> never <laughs> accuse me of. You're having similar conversations like we are in the house. <laughs> oh, don't even go there with me. So, oh, Mark, if you're into this. I can see your nice. videos of the recovery over time. Like Johnny Depp, you know? This is the stuff you got to see. I don't care about Johnny Depp or Amber Heard, but it is a fascinating deep dive into the law of evidence. We were just talking That's about true. you saying that. that I Let's said, go. I want to hear the answers. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I, I recommend a lady named uh, Emily D. Baker on YouTube because she breaks it down play by play. I see. I've been following Legal Bites. Oh, Legal Bites. Yeah, they're good, too. I like yeah. the body. The body language people are great. Oh, yes. the bo Yeah, the body language. That's a, that's up your alley, Mark. Uh, yes, there was it is. Guy, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Um, a, a Spanish guy. Yes. And um, uh, he, he's wonderful. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he's fantastic. What are these two? <laughs> so, so who's going to win the trial? Um, I who's going to win? I think they're both going to lose. I think, I think I think Johnny is going to win and he's not going to get any money. And That's what I said. He's going to win a dollar. He's going to win a dollar. I think they're both going to win. The lawyers dollar. will win. Yeah, the lawyers the are the lawyers. The lawyers have already win, win apparently, $6 million because um, Amber slipped up and said that she's paid $6 million in attorney's fees. Thanks to Elon. <laughs> or, well, or, Elon or, has paid. Or yeah, she possibly. Could, possibly. She could right, win. Come on, come on, come on. Crazy. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here's the, here's, could the win two cents. here's the theme. Some of these people are witnesses in the Johnny Depp trial, and some of these people were witnesses a long time ago in the OJ trial. I yes. knew it. Ah, I knew, knew it. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that. They are all real people who were witnesses in some trial. Yes. Ron Ship was an OJ prosecution witness, so that's false. Yeah. <clears throat> Raymond Kilduff was an OJ defense witness. False. That's that's Ron, awful. That's, oh. Ron Schnell testified today. He's a computer expert. Uh, he is that's <sighs> true. He is a Johnny Depp witness. Uh, Travis McGivern is Johnny Depp's Scottish bar bodyguard. He was very spicy. Yay. Natalie Singer was an OJ defense witness. Damn it. Mark Furman, oh. of course, was that's your hint. Yeah. Mark Furman was a bad cop. <clears throat> uh Alejandro Romero was the hilarious Johnny Depp witness who was oh was he the one testifying from his car? Vaping. Yes, he was awesome. I did catch part of that. <laughs> he was vaping yeah, during the. We got it right. Telling the court he does not want to be testifying. We I don't want to be here. <laughs> I saw. It. I didn't listen to it, but I saw the. Well, then he started driving away while he was still giving testimony. Yes, he started, right. he he started, started driving through the window. We have that problem now in court because people can do Zoom appearances, and people some people are driving, and the <laughs> judge has to say, "Hello, please don't drive while you're testifying." <laughs> just <laughs> crash into something. <laughs> so exactly. can you go back just for a second? Mark Furman is false, right? False. false. That's OJ. How about Natalie Singer? True or false? False. He's, she's an OJ witness. Okay. You're okay. Travis McGivern is true. Ron Schnell is true. The first two are false. Alejandro Romero is true. 
Laura Wasser is Johnny Depp's divorce lawyer, and she testified, and he waived attorney-client privilege to have her testify. Can, oh, can you give the number with that? Oh. Uh, I don't, your numbers? I don't, I don't no put numbers. any numbers. I'm not good. Uh, eight number eight. True. Number eight. Eight, eight, is, eight true. is true. Another one. Karen Goldman is Ron Goldman's sister. I knew it. Ron oh. Goldman's sister. Yep. Yep. I knew the that. OJ trial. I knew that one. Look I, said, I, bet you, I bet you it's uh, Ron Goldman's sister. And then we're thinking about it. Like, Goldman could be a popular name. It could be. And then Ben King was, I think, a Johnny Depp bodyguard or something. But he's oh, the guy who it. found Johnny Depp's finger. There is no person named Karen Goldman. It's yes. Kim Goldman. No, no Karen, Karen Goldman was from the O.J. Simpson trial. No, Do Kim you know Gold. What? Her name I is didn't... Kim. Karen. Uh, well, if that's true, still then false. it's still false. The answer is still <laughs> false. Oh, still false. <laughs> I didn't pay attention because I didn't listen to the part right. that I didn't listen to the part that it was it was either O.J. or Johnny, no, no one, no say one that. said it. it, was, it, say that. it was, she never said that. We just figured it out after we saw Mark Furman and the last name Goldman. I got, I got, the, OJ, I got the OJ ones off of the internet for an OJ witness list. And that was confusing me because I followed the OJ Simpson one. So they all, so, you know, I made the case that they looked familiar. They could have been familiar because I saw them in the OJs. I haven't been following these people's names. That's the funny thing. You and nobody's on both. Any name. Nobody's on both. I'm yeah, shocked. She just found a list to use to fill out some happen. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> hey, hey, Robin. Kyle says to us and and the yeah, break, six points out or of ten. Tells us he says, "Is this a real trial or a movie about a trial?" <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be a movie. It will be. It'll be a book first. <laughs> Who's gonna and play? She, and if she is telling the truth and all these horrible things happen to her, I feel really bad for her because she is so unbelievable her witnesses are so bad and it it's really unbelievable if she's gonna lose even though she might have been right yeah you know that's the, you're oh. absolutely right if this happened to her i feel bad for her because she is doing an awful job you know and like she, she's talking to the jury like i'm life. talking to the jury and, and you know what happened the there was she's an acting coach right. an so acting right, coach from uh -huh. two years ago from two years ago, there was an acting coach that was, you know, did a deposition a couple of years ago, three or four years ago, and what they clipped parts of it. And one of the things the acting coach said was, she just threw it in. She said, you know, she had a, with acting, she had a challenge um, crying. Now, when she really was, uh, you know, she, emotions, she could cry, but for acting, she had a hard time crying. <gasps> and that is, ends up being really detrimental to her case now you know the way she's been behaving you can see her on the stand yeah. and oh it's, like it's amazing her. how much you see her facial and expression change when she remembers she's on camera and, and she, she needs smiled. to look yeah. sad someone called yeah. her beautiful someone referred to her from the stand as beautiful and she smiled you can just see her whole demeanor rise and it confirms like the narcissism yeah. diagnosis and she's supposed to <laughs> an actress it. that's narcissistic <laughs> what and susan what you're talking about she's supposed to address the jury when she's answering her questions the problem is is that she does this every yeah, time. yeah. That's she's like like so they she say like and what is your name crazy jody Arias that she is she goes wow. she goes like if they ask her a question like what is your name she goes my name is amber heard you <laughs> know she just Jerks her head oh, over right. to him like, yeah. I am Jamber Heard and Johnny Depp, you know, hurt me. You know, I mean, she has, and then she has to add a little bit in, like a little nudge. Oh, yeah. She's just not. Well, Johnny compared her to the Kathy character from East of Eden. Is it East of Eden? Yeah, East of Eden. And uh, oh boy, is that spot on. I mean, I've that, never, that, I don't remember that character. She was the, the, the mother the of the two wheel. bad. The, the Abel Please. and Cain kids. She was the she, she was their biological mother, but she became a prostitute because she she just was completely devoid of emotion and. What's the movie East of Eden? Yeah, yeah. East and who's the character? I have to watch the movie. Kathy. Her Kathy. name is Kathy. Kathy. Kathy on East of Eden. Yeah. I have to remember that. Uh, All right. Amber, so let's see. Let's see how well we've been paying yeah. attention to our. Oh. Johnny Depp and how well we score. I know I'm, I apologize to my team. I, 
I really didn't know. How dare you have something better to do with your life? How dare you? How, how did Mark do? I wasn't paying attention to names. Okay. How did Mark do? I did. I did okay. I think. Let's see. Good. All right. The Hairy Face Brigade. Uh, we got six. That's good. Okay, so the one that Mark Edward is on, which is the self-replicating gory cupcakes, how did you it guys It wasn't do? just Mark Edward is on, it was Mark Edward's score, nine. Wow, Mark! Wow. Wow. He's Woo. been watching. Good job. Damn hot <laughs> stuff there. Look at that, you're in the 30s all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, <laughs> two American plus two Canadians, which is Rob Robin's team, and I was... See how they did without me. <laughs> Got uh, six. Oh, oh, that's that's, that's, that's better. Bad. That's not bad. That's not up to Mark's score, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, stop it. Okay, and then Madison Cawthorn. We got five. Oh. <laughs> oh. You guys won already. You could have got a zero in your one. <laughs> can can they get negative points? Today's yeah, three negative points. Tigres. Three, negative three. three sad tigers. Eating eating wheat in a wheat field. Yep. Every, everybody on the team besides me got eight. I contributed nothing to this round. Oh, we got a category <laughs> that Carl doesn't know. Oh, winner. Oh, Carl wow. gave a strategy though. Carl, congratulations, gave Carl. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's good nice. score, Carl. Good score. He was he was taking me around St. Louis, and and we never even <laughs> once talked about this trial on thing. Good job. Uh, at least at least my team. Uh, that was fun, even though I had no idea who any of those names <laughs> were. <laughs> but you good, good job, Robin. Good chance. I'm gonna get right. Okay, so now we need to know what we're doing for next week. So I have two options. One is that Kevin can take all the categories. He's got enough team for all of the categories, or we can force five people to come up with something. Rob says he'll take one. I so vote for we'll Kevin. Kevin Round. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin just Kevin fun ones. Okay, Kevin. I think I think you're hey. what, I, what I heard. It sounds like go Kevin. Go Kevin. Especially if there's mystery rounds in there. Oh, and Billy. Nothing will ever be better than Kevin. Yeah, Parker. I know. Can you top Potsy as an answer? Uh, maybe oh. not. You know what the problem like the with Potsy was? The there was trivia. one serious problem with that is that Adrian and I were playing. And we're right next to the wall to the bedroom next to us in the hotel. And I was like, we were, she just was, she just roared when she figured that out. And I was like, oh my God, we're going to wake up the people next to us because it was, it was a quiet place. So, all right, Kevin, it's all yours. Okay. Woohoo. Um, some Good night, mystery. Good night, Good night Gail. Gail. All right. Okay, Good Gail. job, everybody. Hey, I'm very Ron. proud of you. Hey, hey. I got to sleep. Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> Good, night. Good night. All right, happy happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Yeah, happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday to you. And don't forget, if if you guys are in the vicinity of my house and you can get down here, we're going to probably do on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This weekend? No, next weekend. Next weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, Memorial Day weekend on on the Sunday. But uh, Paula Paula will be here. So she'll be here like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Where's she been? Where's she been? She's working. I think she's she's doing a lot of work and she, and she's seasonal. So uh, when the when they hire her, she works like twelve hour days. So she wants to work and get her overtime. So that's where she is, I guess. I think she's working. I don't know. I don't keep. She doesn't say. All of a sudden, I'll get a message from her, and she'll say, "I was working." So, so did Mark have so much fun that tonight that he's going to be a regular now? Is he Mark, gonna join us more often. Come here. <laughs> he's brushing his teeth. Oh, okay. He's ready. He's like going to bed. I'm Come leaving on. soon too because I want to watch this before bed. <laughs> but and it's still recording. Yeah, now brush it, brush it, brush. Hey, uh, but, but did you have so much fun the tonight? Bridge of the Enterprise. Did yeah. I what? Did you have so much fun tonight? You're going to join us more often. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yay. 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 Especially if there's, hey, if there's questions about Amber Heard. Oh, wait, trying to exactly. Get. Was there another question? <laughs> He's ready to answer for <laughs> like part two. Who's gonna so, win between Robin? Johnny? I smell a part two coming up. For like Johnny's hundred gonna come out trying to get Mark to Johnny's gonna come out better. Arranged. He says, be arranged. "Your guys are so funny." Robin, what's your dog's name? I have two. There's Maggie and Petunia. Oh, Petunia was one of. She's the actor. 
Yes, she's That's a Toto. Toto. Better Toto. known as Toto for her. Better Petunia, known. Petunia, she has many nicknames. P Dog. Um, the the current favorite is Tuna Fur. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And she loves when I say tuna first, she perks. She, that's she a, loves that's a name. Hey, it's <laughs> a name. I don't like the P dog because that a- anything close can be to a my name, cat. Really. I have a cat issue that you know. So we'll have to figure it out. All right, y'all. All right. Good to see Thank you guys. All right. Take Good care, night. Susan. Good night, everybody. Good seeing everybody. Good night. Yep. Time to watch Star Trek. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>